Subway, open 24 hours in Countryside, Anderson Square in Georgetown, and Centennial Towers in West Bay. And by the Ministry of District Administration, explore your history, explore your land, explore your sister islands. And Cayman Airways, call them on 949-2311 to book your nonstop flights to Los Angeles and Panama. And now, Barbados. And Digicel, Cayman's bigger, better network. And Doctors Hospital. Peace of mind is important when life happens. Doctors Hospital. Always there for you. Call 949 6066. But I do have some questions. There are more questions than answers. Cayman Islands. For most listeners' participation program. Talk today. What is on your mind, Cayman? If you are ready to talk, we are ready to listen. Here's, Here's your, your host. host. And good afternoon. This is Catherine Tyson Sewell. I'm sitting sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. Thank you all so much for joining me. This is Talk Today, of course, and this is where you tune in to talk, really, and to listen. There's lots of things happening this afternoon, lots of great guests, and can't wait to start the conversations. We'll be back right after this. To avoid any statements or comments which are abusive, derogatory, malicious, or defamatory. Do not use indecent language or make any statement that is false or misleading. Call 1-800-534-8255-949-6990-949-8037 or WhatsApp us on 925-3261. And now, back. Radio Cayman Talk Today. And welcome back to Talk Today. Catherine Tyson Sewell, I'm sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. Always great to be back in the seat and just uh, facilitating these great conversations. Susan, always good to see you. I love for Susan to be the driver because she's so awesome. So awesome and representing the Brack and and the, our sister islands and everything. You, you probably Grand Cayman by now. You're a Grand Caymanian by now. I know the Brackers still claim you. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me this evening. We're, we're at, this afternoon. We're actually going to start the conversation with um, with I have, uh, I have some guests in the studio already um, talking about World Intellectual Property Day. Um, it is the representative from the Cayman Islands Intellectual Property Office, Miss Candice Westby. She's the director. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. And welcome. Thank you for, for coming over to chat about this very important topic. We also have uh, a couple of entrepreneurs, business owners, uh, that we're going to talk about this topic, which is a really, really important topic. Miss Melicia Adderley, is that how you say your name? That's correct. All right. She's the founder of Women's Haven. I see you all over the place, too, by the way. I saw you in another country. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, the Caribbean. Awesome. <laughs> so awesome. Congrats. Thank and, you. of course, our very own Mr. Ted Green, who is the CEO and Perfume Creation Director of Ted Green Fragrances. Thank how you, you doing? Hello. Doing well, doing well. How are well, you? You're, you're just growing up on my mind. I know. <laughs> 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 Not that I wouldn't want to see a bopper forever. Oh, can I tell you, it's, every day it becomes more and more evident that I, too, am aging because all of you fabulous young people are just like doing your thing. And I love that. It's amazing. And uh, this is a really, really important topic, right? Because intellectual property is something that not a lot of people think about yes. but it's a big deal it let's is. start the conversation yes it is again thank you for having us here today it is such a big deal um ted was saying earlier you know so many people create ip intellectual property and don't even know it and we interact with it every day too when we choose colgate over crest at the grocery store right, you know? right. or we listen to music we consume a lot of content all of that is protected by intellectual property so it is a big deal it is yeah. a big deal yeah and and it's something 
something, you know, it's it's kind of second nature, like you say, you know, but we are every day making choices. Right. And so it is important to recognize when it is something that belongs to someone. Yes, because <laughs> it is property. That's the name, right? Intellectual property. And so it's things that people have created with their mind that becomes their property. Right. You can't touch it. It's not tangible like you, you can, you know, live in your house or drive your car, but it still has value. It's still property that belongs to others. And we need to be conscious of that as we interact with it, you know, on a day to day basis. Right. And yeah. this is this is a global thing. This is not just Cayman. Right. Right. So um, I don't think there's a single country that doesn't have some kind of intellectual property laws in place. It depends. In some jurisdictions, you will have all four, which is trademarks, patents, designs, and copyrights. Some are still catching up. Patents is, you know, with inventions, that's a little bit more complicated. But at the very least, you'd have brand protection in place and copyright in globally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and I think also uh, when it comes to intellectual property, people don't, they kind of take it for granted that someone has sat down and come up with something. Right. And therefore, it's not just open for anyone to just take yes. and, and utilize it and yes. not give them the credit or whatever it is yes. that's supposed to come with that, right? Definitely, and I think the internet has kind of lent itself to that in social media because we see things just floating around. We think, okay, I can just take that image and you know use it in on my um, Instagram or whatever, but... You know, that's not, you need to have permission. Right, right, Ted. Yeah, yeah. I think also people just don't realize that it's an asset. Mm -hmm. Like your intellectual property is the foundation of whatever you're doing. Right. You know, in 2024 and beyond, as far as we can mm -hmm. see, your brand is probably the most valuable thing in your business. Right. And so to talk about IP today is very important. Um, it's very important that we realize that we have regimes in Cayman, so I'm yes. very happy to be here, <laughs> um, to protect it. Yeah. You know, so other people can't infringe on your rights to your ideas and your work and your brand. Right. Now, you you particularly, your your brand has, has grown since, you know, when, when did you start? I started in 2007. Right. I came to market in 2010 with my first two fragrances. But between 2007 and 2010, there's a whole heap of intellectual property that would have been generated. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I started as a hobby, so I wasn't really interested. I was just <laughs> going about, you know, this is my passion project. Yeah. But certainly as you start to um, think about your operation in terms of a business, you start to think, oh, well, I've put so much work in, I've put so much effort in, I've put so much money in. How do I actually protect this thing that I've created right. from being infringed upon? Right. And also that people can't come and claim my rights right mm -hmm. right because as far as i understand how the the laws actually work i can apply for a trademark from leash's business yes <laughs> yes <laughs> really so somebody yeah. could see yeah. his brand doing so well and mm -hmm. you know what i don't see ted green on the register i'm going to send it in it's the first person to file then ted would have to take all these steps to fight them and right yeah it's it more expensive with katie perry with that as well yeah. too the singer versus someone else and they were unable the actual singer was unable to win the lawsuit like they lost it because of that yeah. and back to your point regarding it being an asset like people need to understand that when you have a trademark like you add value by the actual value of your business now goes up because of that. Right. You know, some people don't really think that that adds any, you know, fiscal monetary value to your business other than just saying exactly right. so but you actually increases the value of your business and right. like you said being in multiple different countries as well as something that you need to look into with Pippet Women's Haven we're in multiple different countries and you need to understand that trademarks are respective to each respective country that you're in so back to your point that you know anyone can just go in any country and just you know, register your name and even if you're not there you may not have any attention of being there but they could do it mm -hmm. so you have have to take that into account when you have exposure to other markets as well right and you might not even know exactly that it's happening exactly right? so and, and that's a big deal because it is your property and I was thinking as you were talking um, just now Melicia I was thinking about I'm going to take us way back okay <laughs> and it was the the Con Air movie you guys are probably too young <laughs> ask, ask your mommy <laughs> ask your mommy <laughs> when Nicolas Cage was at his height right uh, there's a song that was sung at the end. Uh, and I think it was one of the theme songs and it was, how do I? Yes, right? I know that And song. it won so many Grammys, but who won the Grammy was not who sang the song on the movie. So Trisha Yearwood actually uh, sang the song 
Um, but it was Leanne Rhymes. It was it was them. it was her it was her rendition of it that became popular. But as a result of them hearing it on Con Air, right. wow. so it seemed like what happened is the the songwriter, which was not either of them, had written this beautiful song and sold it to a couple of people. Yes, and. As you were just saying, Alicia, if, if if they had gotten a trademark for it at that point, that could not have happened. Yeah. And so we go to this amazing movie, and it's an amazing movie, by the way. I, I know it don't have all the big hoops and whatever, but it's a beautiful story. And at the end, you hear this beautiful, you know, this love song, and they're finally back together. And you just want to go out and get this get this record yes. and you end up getting because I actually went and bought the CD or whatever was whatever was selling it might have just been a cassette I don't know yeah. <laughs> but I bought it for that and I bought mm-hmm. Leanne Rhymes and I and I thought to myself because I sing right I have a singing background I thought to myself this sound a little different mm-hmm. but it was still beautiful because Leanne Rhymes is a beautiful mm-hmm. singer yeah. and lo and behold when the Grammys came up Trisha Yearwood she won the Grammy but she did not make all that money. Yes. And she said it when she accepted the Grammy. Yes. She was like, thank you guys for recognizing <laughs> that. It was me yeah. that first released yeah. this song, you know. And yeah. But as you were talking, that's what my mind went mm-hmm. to right away. Okay. So when we don't think about IP, it is, it's happening all around us at all times. Yeah. And so it is very important to protect your brand, protect your name. Yes. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yes, absolutely. Yes. We're going to take a quick break. I am here with uh, representatives from the the Cayman Islands Intellectual, Intellectual Property Office. Uh, the director is here with us, Miss Candace Westby, as well as two of our own entrepreneurs and, uh, you know, just doing their thing out there um, with some great products. Miss Melicia Adderley, she's the founder of Women's Haven, as well as Mr. Ted Green, the CEO and perfume creation director of Ted Green Fragrances. You're here listening to us on Talk Today. And if you have anything that you would like to add to this conversation, we invite you to give us a call because it, it would be awesome if you, you know, you wanted to to ask a question to one of my guests or make a comment regarding IP. That would be awesome. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more talk today right after these messages. You know who this is? The same old girl that went to Hollywood and Panama? Well, guess what? The fun ain't done yet. Because this year, I'm going to country concerts in Denver. I got kick up on heels in Times Square. And I got to find my way to Barbados. I got to keep living the dream with Cayman Airways. We so blessed to have them. I tell you what, though, this old girl feeling younger than ever. Make your travel dreams come true with Cayman Airways, offering international non-stop flights from Cayman to New York, Miami, Tampa, Denver, Los Angeles, Panama, Kingston, Mobe, La Saiba, and Havana, plus Barbados. Enjoy free rum punch, free in-flight entertainment, free seat selection, and free meals on select flights. Call 949-2311, contact a travel agent, or visit Cayman Airways. Find your dream car with a Cayman National Vehicle Loan. Enjoy 100% financing, up to 8-year repayment, and a 7% fixed interest rate for the first 5 years. For eco-friendly cars, we'll waive your commitment fee. This only applies to new vehicles. Call 949-8300 or email lending at caymannational.com today. At Doctors Hospital, we know life happens, and usually when you least expect it. So when unexpected medical issues arise, you need quality care close to home. Located in the heart of Georgetown, our accomplished team of physicians and medical staff treat minor urgent conditions such as migraines, chest and abdominal pain, shortness of breath, burns, broken bones, open wounds, and more. 24 hours, 7 days a week with no appointment necessary. Peace of mind is important when life happens. At Doctors Hospital, we're always here just for you. Need to speak to someone call 949-6066 your dream home starts with a vision and often inspiration is at the heart of that vision Brand Source Home Gallery's in-house designers are here to help bring your vision to life. Whether you're remodeling or building a new home, Brand Source Home Gallery is your one-stop solution. Explore their kitchen cabinets, sinks, faucets, bath fixtures, tubs, vanities, and more. 
Let Brand Source's designers help and inspire you with your next project. Call 623-5000 and schedule an appointment with a design expert at Brand Source Home Gallery Dorsey Drive, Industrial Park, serving Cayman for 50 years. Digicel has teamed up with Capella. We're giving away tickets for you and a friend to attend Cayman's biggest music festival. Win two Capella tickets. Simply activate a 30-day Prime Max plan or be an active postpaid customer and you could be our lucky winner. Don't miss out on this epic event. Go to your nearest Digicel store today or the My Digicel app for your chance to win. Digicel, better connected. Radio Cayman's Talk Today. And welcome back to Talk Today. Catherine Tyson Sewell, I'm sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we are having a riveting conversation about IP. I mean, to call IP conversation riveting is <laughs> 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 but we are having a riveting conversation because we have some great guests we do have uh miss candace westby who's the director of the cayman islands Inte intellectual property office in in cayman which is something that we have had now since 2017 yes that's all right correct. and before it was under the uk you were saying well yes so there was also always an intellectual property desk as a part of the general registry department but in the recent years we've recognize the importance of just having intellectual property um, as a focus. And so now since 2017, we started direct registration of trademarks. So you don't have to go to the UK IPO anymore to register and then right. come to Cayman. We've cut out that middleman. You can come straight to us. All right. Yeah. Great. And we also have Miss Melicia Adderley, who's the founder of Women's Haven, as well as Mr. Ted Green, the CEO and Perfume Creation Director of Ted Green Fragrances. But we've also now been joined by a, quite a prestigious guest who does not want to upstage anybody, but he's already upstaged us because he walked in. It's the Deputy <laughs> Premier, the Honorable Andre Ebanks. I mean, you can't not upstage people. Come on. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I'm just a simple public servant. <laughs> yes, you are. But the fact that yeah, you, you are, and you're our Deputy Premier, so you're quite a busy, busy man. Uh, to find time to come here today. We want to thank you for that. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to the listening public in Cayman and Caymanians overseas. You're right. I found the time in the busy schedule today because this is one of the areas in our framework that is underestimated, underutilized, and undervalued. So happy World IP Day. I am super proud of the Intellectual Property Office, head by Ms. Candace, who's doing a fantastic job, all the subordinates underneath of her, yeah. as well as the ministry staff and support. So I just came to just say how important it is and the opportunities it creates, importantly, right. for our grassroots creatives. Absolutely. And we're learning a lot about it because, you know, it's something, as you said, Candace, we don't think about, mm -hmm. right? And, um, and and I had another example, too. So I had the example about Trisha Yearwood and Leanne Rhymes and that song. Um, but there's another one. And I understood that there was a movie made from a book, but the person did not get the credit. Oh, wow. I don't know how that happened. Usually, so when it comes to books, it's protected by copyright. Right. And the writer would have to give permission for that book to be adapted right. into a movie or a film. So right. But it didn't happen. Wow. It was like a little self-published book. And yes. And it was just, you know, just kind of underground. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No. Usually. And they saw their, they saw their, their story on wow. this big screen. I hope they took life. action because, I mean, you do have rights, you know, yeah. against infringements. So. Yeah, they, they ended up, it, it, the story was that, that it was a big fight mm -hmm. and they couldn't afford the fight. So they, you know. That's so sad. Yeah. And you know, that happens to a lot of creators and entrepreneurs going back to what Ted was saying earlier about someone seeing your brand and then registering it before you. Yeah. If they register it and it's a big company and you can't fight them, then yeah. you just lose it. I've heard of so many cases over the world where brand reps have had to completely rebrand because they just can't go through the fight yeah. against these companies. The good thing, like you were saying, uh, is that we do have social media now. We yeah. do have, you know, we, we have... I guess if you email something to someone, you have proof of something. Yes. Wherein, you know, 20, 30 years <laughs> ago, 
you're just sitting around your little typewriter. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's, it's good and it's easier bad. to prove. Yeah. Exactly. It's easier to steal, but it's also easier it, to prove. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> it takes money to prove. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And so exactly. to prevent not all from happening, that's why the, you know you protect it mm -hmm. by trademarking. Correct. And, um, copyrights, as Ms. Candice was saying, it's interesting that that happened in, the, in that book mm -hmm. deal. Um, I would have thought that um, in court because copyrights come about a natural yes. order of law. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's interesting that that happened. But certainly yeah. for any entrepreneurs creating things, I also think that something that um, as a business person that we overlook is kind of like, you know, your trade secrets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, those are, are so important. And I know you can't go and register a trade secret yes. per se unless it's maybe like right. a patent yeah. or an invention Patent's, or something. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, a lot of, like it's so interesting you do business and a lot of people just don't understand the value of things like confidentiality agreements, mm -hmm. um, non-disclosure agreements, employee contracts. Mm -hmm. And so... Would you like to come work for us? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's exactly. kind of doing all right over there. Fragrances. <laughs> exactly. So well, maybe not. No. <laughs> not he's blushing. <laughs> That's flattery. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so. yeah. He knows a lot about this stuff. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's Very funny. I, I had some um, turtle stew one day at one of the the things that that they that was done on the island and of course you know um when i when i heard that they were selling turtle stew i was like absolutely and she's like i'm from east end and i was like well come, <laughs> give me my plate like literally yeah. just because she said that mm -hmm. and you know um when i had it i thought they did not give you the hundred percent secret then you mm -hmm. know what i mean like mm -hmm. because it was not what i thought it was going to be mm -hmm. and as you were talking to i was just <laughs> thinking you know your grand is putting like a little dab, a dab, a dab. Yeah. they're not telling secret you song. all this exactly so what about things like that though yeah that's a that's an intellectual property right called trade secrets as ted said mm -hmm. and you don't register it because the whole point is to keep it a secret mm -hmm. and right. if you okay. disclosed it to CEPO, short for cayman islands intellectual property office um you Someone would has it now. right okay. somebody mm -hmm. would have it so it's no longer a secret but it has to be in order for it to be recognized as a trade secret you have to get some commercial value from it mm -hmm. it has to be kept a secret and then you take steps as well to keep it a secret so so NDAs, like he said, non-compete agreements, robust IT infrastructure, all of this helps to keep that framework in place. So if you're a mom and pop shop that's doing excellent turtle stew, don't tell everybody in the shop how to make it because right. then it's not a secret anymore. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Someone was saying that to me. Now, I, I know you all had to go way back for Con Air, but Miss Carita's chili? Oh, yeah. You remember that? Okay, because yeah. that, that's your time, right? Because yeah. yeah. I'm Miss Kay's chili. I <laughs> was in yeah. the 80s, right? So you guys, Miss Karita. Well, Miss Karita is my aunt. So, and, and so, you know, we talked about doing a cookbook for a while just because so many people said, boy, I remember Miss Karita's chili, mm -hmm. you know? And it's funny because we talk all the time about our Caymanians and, and secrets that are just going with them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what would you suggest for, for things like that, though? Yeah, so I would say get one person in the family to write down the recipes. You don't right. have to give it to the whole family if you plan to get commercial value out of it, but at least one person to record them. Keep it somewhere safe. You yeah. know, don't have it just out in, you know, on the kitchen counter for anybody to come and write down. I give the example of Coca-Cola, you know, their secret formula. They, that's been a trade secret for hundreds of years. Right. Angostura Bitters is a Caribbean example that's a 200-year-old trade secret. Right. And they take painstaking steps to protect those recipes. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what we need to do, you know. Right. It has values. Yeah. Was, was there a similarity with Coca-Cola and Pepsi d that you're aware of? Because mm -hmm. they're very similar. Yeah they are very similar right. i believe that over the years many companies have tried to recreate coca-cola their right. formula but they are so they have some really strange things in place to protect that so it's going to be hard to have the exact coke you and, know. And, yeah and you know yeah. So, it is distinctive yeah, yeah. And, and some people prefer pepsi yes and some people prefer coca-cola yes. that's the interesting thing now i got a question i know we're going to take a break are we taking a little break in a while um yeah okay so i'll ask this question uh, have you had any experience of, of someone, you know, I'm talking to Ted and maybe Malicia, ha someone trying to, I don't know, like take your well, stuff or say, well, this was mine or well, for duplicating me, it in some way? I have had an experience with that, unfortunately, here in Cayman. 
I was going to allude to that point after you were finished talking as well, because sometimes we get quite comfortable, you know, in where, where we are. Like, okay, well, I'm selling my products here in Cayman. People see it. They know me. Like, who can go and go take my stuff <laughs> and act like that in a small country? But actually, that happened to me. Yeah. Here in Foster's, I, the product was there, and another brand came, and they took all my words, and they put it on their packaging. Wow. And I went there one day, and I was like what's this mm-hmm. this is my words like this cannot be real what in my do? country like what did you do well i took action okay. i immediately contacted the brand um i spoke to them about it um they confirmed that um they admitted to what they okay, did okay well that's good and i yeah I have all of that i went to my lawyers um did a cease and desist um with bold comparison wording to show the similarities wow. and how close it was to my to my brand wow. Um, they um, responded with a uh, lawyer's letter um, apologizing, said it was a mistake or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, they had to take their packaging off the shelving and they changed everything up a bit. And, yeah. Um, yeah, that well, happened here. So, well, that, so, yeah, so go ahead. The system worked. Yeah. yeah. The system worked. It works. Yeah. Well, well it, it's good that that person, uh, the way that they responded to. Yes, because it could have been, I mean, I could have taken it further because, I mean, that's something you have to look into as well. And prior to that, I didn't have my actual approval here Mm -hmm. in Cayman because it's a process. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just happen like in a month or two. Right. Like I'm going through that process before I have my official registration. I'm like, oh, my God, this this, this can't be serious. But, you know, I mean, that's just my life. Like Women Save Me is my baby. I started that. All those words took me months to put them together in that way. Yeah. Like it wasn't an overnight. It wasn't no chat GPT back in my time when I first started so it wasn't that easy right I actually had to think about these things so it was quite scary Um, but you know I made it through thankfully Um, I mean it was pretty obvious they couldn't fight they couldn't fight it if they wanted to I could have taken them to court and make a big deal about it but again leads back to the expenses that you incur going through the court filings and all that do I want to go through all that Right, right. but I took the easy way out and I was like well I'm glad that they admitted to their mistakes and they did what they had to do but it still made me feel uncomfortable and it's something to be aware of that yeah. don't matter that you're in a small country everybody know who you are they see you they'll still try well I'll tell you what I mean uh, as far as I'm concerned I've, I've had what you're saying is I, I had the opposite opinion uh, when I came back home maybe 20 something years ago that as as soon as you say it in a room somebody else can say it again and say that they said it mm-hmm. so I I started to learn that when I wanted something to be done I'd just say it in the room mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, and then someone else would just run with it and it was notorious because it was like yeah great idea great idea yeah you know like if I had a recording so don't take that for granted it yeah. absolutely happens and, and you know and you just have to take care of yourself and I'm, I'm very happy for you know the fact that we have an official yeah. you know place that that you register yes. and that protects all of that that yes. that that's that's what's needed you know we it's it is 2024 right so and it's um, important have to be too, careful. I feel if you're going to be regional I think like a lot of people don't understand this like they'll just get a trademark in Cayman like for example we're in 10 Caribbean countries in major supermarkets and pharmacies like we're involved at high levels around around the Caribbean it's important to get trademarks in all the countries that you plan to have presence with your products and yes. like don't just focus on because you're headquartered here in Cayman mm-hmm. and stuff wherever yeah. you're planning to have your products distributed to access to anything like that just make sure you have your trademarks I even have a trademark in Great Britain Northern Ireland I'm not even in England yet or anywhere in the European region but I am you preparing myself <laughs> I'm proud of you to do that that, was, that is I awesome have, yeah. I was going to say that is remarkable. That's awesome. I, I'm sitting here proud of I'm you. Proud Thank of you. you. I mean, no, you, you, absolutely. I mean, doesn't she sound like Serena Williams? Like she, <laughs> she has her lawyer. Yeah. She has her ten countries. Why is her picture not up wow. around the, the island? Proud wow. of them. They need. Thank they need you. to up the age for the proud of them. Yeah, and even if you want to be on things like Amazon, like I'm an approved Amazon brand, like you have to show proof of trademark. You know, like you need to have a workshop. Yeah, you, you when need. is your workshop? <laughs> when is your entrepreneurial workshop? You and Ted get together, do something like that. So We're gonna take a quick things. break. I'll be back. Uh, hold that thought. Uh, Susan is is pressing me down. Now I gotta take a break. We'll be back with more talk today. <laughs> From boat days to beach gatherings. Leave the catering to Subway. Choose from small and large sandwich platters, double meat wrap platters, and top it off with optional cookie platters. 
for dessert. Or ask about our Subway Box to Go with the option of six inch or foot long sandwich, one cookie, and one bag of chips for all occasions and celebrations. Let Subway focus on the food so you can focus on the fun. Visit subway.ky for catering options. Subway, eat fresh. Discover your dream home with Cayman National's Home Loan. Get up to 95% financing, repayment up to 40 years, and just a 0.5% commitment fee. Your interest rate? Depending on your risk factors, it'll be fixed or variable. Plus, you get a pre-approved credit card. This is a limited time offer. Dial 949-8300 or email lending at caymanational.com today. Digicel has teamed up with Capella. We're giving away tickets for you and a friend to attend Cayman's biggest music festival. Win two Capella tickets. Simply activate a 30-day Prime Max plan or be an active postpaid customer and you could be our lucky winner. Don't miss out on this epic event. Go to your nearest Digicel store today or the My Digicel app for your chance to win. Digicel, better connected. At Doctors Hospital, we know life happens, and usually when you least expect it. So when unexpected medical issues arise, you need quality care close to home. Located in the heart of Georgetown, our accomplished team of physicians and medical staff treat minor urgent conditions such as migraines, chest and abdominal pain, shortness of breath, burns, broken bones, open wounds, and more. 24 hours, 7 days a week with no appointment necessary. Peace of mind is important when life happens. At Doctors Hospital, we're always here just for you. Need to speak to someone? Call 949 Capella Music Festival is back on Saturday, April 27th at the Festival Green at Kamana Bay, featuring a jam-packed lineup of local performers and international stars with reggae royalty, Damien Jr. Gun Marley, soft rock heavyweight, Richard Marks, dance pop star, Becky Hill, Afrobeat star, Iris Lar, Soka Sensation, Jess the Bad, and world champion DJ, DJ Puppy. Purchase your tickets now at CapellaMusicFestival.com. She hear clunk and her car stop. I was just about to send her some money, so I'm send it straight to her JN Money Transfer card. It cost me less, and props, she used the card pay the garage right away. She all get discount through the JN Rewards program in Jamaica. This card make things easy. You can even get funds at any Multilink ATM. J and Money Transfer Card. Fast, affordable, convenient. Tell your loved ones in Jamaica about it. Sign up is free. Our climate is changing, and so is Cayman. Stronger and more frequent hurricanes, longer periods of drought, sea level rise, and higher temperatures are already impacting our communities. If we take nature into account before we act, we can harness nature's benefits and reduce the devastation caused by natural disasters. Because when we put nature front and center, nature can provide the solutions. Radio Cayman's Talk Today. What is on your mind, Cayman? And welcome back to Talk Today. Catherine Tyson Sewell, I'm sitting in for Sterling. What's on our mind this afternoon, right now, is intellectual property. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the Cayman Islands intellectual property office that is actually it falls under the ministry for financial services and commerce so that's where you come in deputy premier honorable andre ebanks you started this did you start this no no no, no okay no, no, no. Oh, you it, it's just it's just I, something i don't that, want to be oversold <laughs> <laughs> you started a lot of stuff but not that that would <laughs> ironically <laughs> infringe on somebody else's ip right <laughs> exactly what we're talking about good answer <laughs> it was a trick question, by the way. <laughs> you set it up nicely. But yes. if you take the last segment, there's a reason why I, I thought make the time for this subject that, again, is underestimated. Take Miss Adderley's story of someone infringing on her IP rights. Right. So just remember that. It's no different than if, some, if you had a popsicle stand mm -hmm. and someone comes in and takes out of it physically. Mm -hmm. What they've done is try to take the ideas that are out of your head. Mm -hmm. 
So you have done, from all the sounds of it, an incredible job building a business that came from your head. Mm -hmm. The IP framework then protected your rights. Someone tried to infringe upon your rights. You got your lawyers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big <laughs> yes, time. Yes. And then you were able to defend your rights. Yes. So it that is a proof point of what possibilities exist for young people to mm -hmm. be a creative, mm -hmm. how to protect it, and how to capitalize and make money. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. No, for sure. Thank uh, you. Yeah, definitely an example uh, of what we can do. And and even though Cayman is such a small place, I think like sometimes we we almost like downplay ourselves, you yeah. know. Yeah, uh, but too. but we're. We're in the middle. We're like a mecca, right? Mm -hmm. in, in in the middle of all of this. And ever since COVID, especially, I feel like like the light's been shown on us because mm -hmm. of how well we were doing and mm -hmm. and you know, people just wanted to come in here and, and be a part of us. And we now have to be we gotta be fighting for our intellectual property, just period, as a as a as a little as country. A country yeah. That's what I think. So mm -hmm. I believe that that, you know, the example that, that you're you know, you're you kind of shared is that, you know, you're you're all over, right? And you're about that, and you're you're fight you fight for yourself. Yes. And Ted, you've been doing that for years as well. I know that that um, your your perfumes are manufactured not in Cayman. There, I think Europe is where originally sure. I knew um, the banana orchid or yeah. something that started. Right, my friend, by the way, just sent me a photo of the bottle and said, "I'm gonna need some more of this, by the way, because I, I yeah, I'm, good I, stuff. yeah, <laughs> if you don't mind." <laughs> I was like, "He has some other ones too, you know." <laughs> so you know, just just really incredible, and uh, just an example for our young people. Mm -hmm. you know, that are listening uh, to, to follow that lead because, you know, I, I joked about how you're growing up. Like I remember, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago when you were just a little kid, you know, and you're not a little kid anymore. And still, that, that's still young at heart. Still young at heart. Yeah, yeah, young at heart. Yeah. Yeah, always be, you know, yeah. but, um, but really just like being a mover and a shaker in the world and um, needing to protect, to protect your rights and, and talk about that. Now, I know that uh, it, it the the day that's observed globally mm -hmm. is when can it's April twenty sixth, um, which is next Friday. But being the Cayman Islands, we like to the whole month. Yeah, we like yeah. to make a big like splash of, of it, and you know, <laughs> make sure that we get these guys the spotlight and also shine light on what we're doing at CEPO and the registration process and what's available. And just to give some context, because we talk about Cayman, you know, being a small jurisdiction, but our registers have been steadily growing since we started direct registration in 2017. Um, each year, we're now up to almost 600 new registrations of trademarks each year. Mm -hmm. And we're talking international companies, you name it, they're registering here. So, you know, I want to say that even our locals, we want you as well on the register because these big brands are taking advantage of the system we have here. So we encourage them to, you know, file their applications at the office. Yeah. Right. And you have some stuff coming up? Yes, we do. Um, so yesterday we started in-house with the government building and we did a lunch and learn for civil servants on IP because it's important that our civil servants and we also have a lot of entrepreneurial civil servants. So we did that yesterday. Um, today we have our radio um, session here with you guys. And then next week coming up, we have a Monday, a Zoom workshop everything you need to know about ip and that one is relatively easy to attend you just go on our website ciipo.ky and register and then we have we've um, partnered with the cayman island center for business development to host every thursday every last thursday of the month they host lunch and learns for entrepreneurs and they have given us a spot to uh, in an observance of world ip day Next Thursday, April 25th at 12 p.m. Again, you can go on our website to register. And then we do have our registered agents who have graciously agreed to give their time to some IP clinics next Friday also at the Cayman Islands Center for Business Development. So if you're interested in getting registered and you want an expert to give you some, you know, guidance in that process, you know, register and come and get that that help that you need. Okay, and that's CIIPO.KY. Yeah. Uh, you have a phone number as well? Yes, it's 9467922 and you can also email my team at info at CIIPO dot gov dot ky all right sounds good uh any final thoughts 
Yes, um, just encouraging everyone to come out to the sessions to get more information. I will be presenting at the Lunch and Learn next Thursday, and I plan to gear that more towards entrepreneurs. So like Ted was saying, how to register, what's the process, things you want to think about when you're designing your brand, because there's a lot of things people don't know that um, will stop you from getting it registered. So we're going to make sure that it's worthwhile, your lunch break. I know it's your lunch hour. We'll have some food there for you as well. So encourage you to come out and also to attend some of the other sessions. And just remember that your intellectual property has value. Where is that going to be exactly? So, um, the Kim, So it's the Small Business Development Center, which is in the same plaza as KFC on West Bay Road, right at the corner. Okay. Um, Next to the elections office. Okay. Yeah. There right. you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I that's, just want to say good thank to you very much for having me here. I really appreciate it. Thank much. you. Thank you very thank much. You. Yeah. I, and and I got to get your phone number. Sure. So I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same, same. Thank you so much for having us here. Um, IP is so important. Yes. I know it's one of the things we've been talking about, the, the nature of this conversation. It's just undervalued. It's the biggest value add to your yes. business in 2024. Um, and see you all at the events coming up. Yeah. Yes. Thank you all so much for, for joining me this afternoon. Uh, it's been a great conversation. And any information, they can always just reach out to you. C-I-I-P-O. I'm so impressed with that because it's so simple. <laughs> yes. C-I-I-P-O came an island. Rose off the town. <laughs> Intellectual <Yes>. property <laughs> office. Like, oh. Yes. So. And a deputy, free mayor. Very quickly. Thank you all. Thank you, Candace and all of the team. This is hugely important. I unfortunately won't be here next week for the actual day itself. So world, happy world IP day in advance. Mm -hmm. I travel overseas on financial services business in Asia. Exciting things happening. I broke away from a conference right now, which is the country's first inaugural reinsurance conference happening right now at the Ritz. Wow. Lots of overseas delegates coming here to try to build that business, continue to build the business, I would say. Mm -hmm. Earlier this week, there was a huge investment funds conference great things happening all over so i will come back after my trip to asia next week come look for you please tell my cousin sterling i, I stopped by okay he wasn't here today <laughs> tell him i stopped by okay and i'll do the rounds to report on that trip and a few other exciting developments awesome thank you all so much appreciate that i know the news is waiting and people are waiting on the news but this has been news and I'm very excited about all the things that you all are doing and congratulations to all of you on your hard work and for holding down the fort miss candace thank you yeah i, I feel <laughs> good i feel like the world's in good hands i feel like I can go, i'm closer to sitting on my porch and putting my foot up <laughs> knowing it's gonna be all right because you guys are handling your business okay we'll be back with more talk today stay tuned from radio cayman's newsroom this is headlines local regional international news Cayman in Style Fashion Week is underway this weekend, kicking off with the organization's first Free Your Mind Gala, then the Trailblazer Awards and Creative Fashion School graduation tonight. The kids and adult runway shows are tomorrow evening at the Ark in Kamana Bay. For more information, head to caymaninstyleFashionWeek.com. Tesla, the electric car company owned by Elon Musk, has recalled thousands of its new cyber trucks over safety concerns. It's because their accelerator pedals currently risk getting trapped by the interior trim, increasing the possibility of crashes. The BBC recently spoke to a whistleblower at the company who had raised concerns over the safety of pedals of previous Tesla models. The recall affects almost 3,900 Cybertrucks, which cost roughly $61,000 and were made between November 2023 and April 2024. The top three finishers of the Beijing Half Marathon have been stripped of their medals following an investigation to the controversial result. It was alleged that the three African athletes deliberately allowed China's star runner to win Sunday's race. Footage appeared to show two Kenyan runners and the runner from Ethiopia pointing to the line and slowing down to wave the Chinese athlete past. One of them told the BBC the trio ran as pacemakers. But the race's organizing committee said none were registered as pacemakers, so their actions breached the competition rules. Those are your headlines. I'm Carson Lee Fuller. More news available at www.radiokman.gov.ky. Check out our social media pages, Facebook, YouTube, X, formerly Twitter, Radio Cayman Headline News. When you have a sports or fitness related injury, trust the expertise of the HSA Sports and Exercise Medicine Clinic to get you back in the game. 
Our internationally trained and certified physicians specialize in sports traumatology, sports medicine, pain management, and orthopedic surgery. For treatment of common injuries such as tendonitis, arthritis, tennis elbow, rotator cuff, or knee tears, schedule a consultation with the Sports and Exercise Medicine Clinic at Smith Road Medical Center by calling 949-8600 or visit hsa.ky for more information. Affectionately known as Miss Kippy, Muriel Sims was a very humble person who had a passion for teaching and taught children at her residence on Goring Avenue, Georgetown, until children attended government school at the age of seven. Her classes were held outside without seating and children wrote on slates instead of blackboards. At times, there would be 10 to 12 students attending classes which were held under a tree and throughout the day, the students would shift around according to the sun. The cost was a pence per child per day, although Miss Kippy turned no child away. For those who knew her best, Miss Kippy was kind, inspiring, pure, purposeful, and yearning always to better the community in which she lived, whether imparting knowledge to children or wishing the best for her fellow man. Information from this historical vignette was sourced from the Lions Club of Grand Cayman. Take some advice from your Aunt Angie. If you're going to invest in an exotic pet, choose anything but a Norwegian forest cat. Apparently, they will eat all your jewelry. Before you know it, you're racing to the vet when your cat escapes from his carrier and lunges for your earrings. You crash and your cat swallows your pearls. Mm -hmm. But if you're smart, you'll have CG Motor Insurance and get the best comprehensive coverage for the price. Get the best comprehensive coverage for the price. CG Brit K. Good like that. All benefits are subject to policy provisions, including eligibility at the time of service. At Doctors Hospital, we know life happens, and usually when you least expect it. So when unexpected medical issues arise, you need quality care close to home. Located in the heart of Georgetown, our accomplished team of physicians and medical staff treat minor urgent conditions such as migraines, chest and abdominal pain, shortness of breath, burns, broken bones, open wounds, and more. 24 hours, 7 days a week with no appointment necessary. Peace of mind is important when life happens. At Doctors Hospital, we're always here just for you. Need to speak to someone call 949-6066 you know who this is the same old girl that went to hollywood and panama well guess what the fun ain't done yet because this year i'm going to country concerts in denver i gotta kick up my heels in times square and i gotta find my way to barbados i gotta keep living the dream with cayman airways we so blessed to have them. I tell you what, though, this old girl's feeling younger than ever. Make your travel dreams come true with Cayman Airways, offering international non-stop flights from Cayman to New York, Miami, Tampa, Denver, Los Angeles, Panama, Kingston, Mobe, La Saiba, and Havana, plus Barbados. Enjoy free rum punch, free in-flight entertainment, free seat selection, and free meals on select flights. Call 949-2311, contact a travel agent, or visit Cayman Airways Com. Find your dream car with a Cayman National Vehicle Loan. Enjoy 100% financing, up to eight-year repayment, and a 7% fixed interest rate for the first five years. For eco-friendly cars, we'll waive your commitment fee. This only applies to new vehicles. Call 949-8300 or email lending at caymannational.com today. Now, more than ever, supporting your immune system is crucial to helping your body fight off illnesses like the common cold, the flu, and COVID-19. At Value Med Pharmacy on Walker's Road and in Buttontown, we carry all the essential vitamins and minerals to help support your immune system and improve your overall health. Some of our top immunity support picks are vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, elderberry, and quercetin are the popular 7-in-1 immunity support. Our pharmacists are always on hand to help guide you and answer any questions. Visit Value Med Pharmacy on Walker's Road or Buttontown. Live happy, live healthy with Value Med Pharmacy. 
Get ready to laugh till your belly hurts. The Laughter Lounge Comedy Show is back at Kamana Bay Cinema on Friday, April 19th. Doors swing open at 9 p.m. and the laughs kick off at 9.30 p.m. We've got comedians including the hilarious Daphne Springs from L.A., Joel Byers from Atlanta, and Alfred Kanga hailing from Dallas and Zimbabwe. Brought to you by Laugh K-Man. You do not want to miss the funniest night of the year. Tickets and info at laughkman.com or call 326-4510. Radio Cayman's Talk Today. What is on your mind, Cayman? And welcome back to Talk Today. Catherine Tyson Sewell is sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. And what's on our mind? Laughter. Laughter Lounge, K-Man, Rod Jefferson, the hello, big hello. talker. How you doing? Yeah, the big talker. You're going to talk today? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I know. So you, you've you been doing this thing for a minute, right? You have a show like, coming uh, up tonight. 12, 13 years, something like yeah, that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so this is it's becoming more a regu- regular thing now because I know it stopped for a little while. Well, when we first started, you know, we were doing every month, but it was a little hard to get everybody to participate every month. So right now I'm down to probably like every quarter. Okay. Try to do a bigger show. Like this time we have three comedians instead of doing like one or two. Yeah. So how long are they going to have or per set then? With uh, Is it going to be a we're, longer show? We're just going to have fun and, and hey, go, go as long as you're having fun to, or until they kick us out, one or the other. Awesome. All right. So you want to introduce your 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 guest? I'll let right? them introduce yourself. All right. Okay. We got a couple of funny start people. With, over here. Yeah. My name is Joel Byers. I'm in town from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I'm the diversity hire of the show. Okay. So <laughs> appreciate token. y'all coming yeah, out. Token. Yeah, the token. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Can we yeah. say token these days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're canceled. You're canceled. That's funny, right? Cancel culture. <laughs> and I want portion. to sign up for your workshop, by the way. Oh, the You have an comedy? online one coming mm-hmm. up, right? Yes. All right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. He knows. I've been threatening to do a stand up routine. Hey, for a I, while. I try to get everybody local to get up there. Somebody <laughs> just asked if we were going to have somebody local. I'm like, well, I couldn't find anybody who wanted to get up. So who's doing it this year? We don't have anybody right now. Okay. Can't get anybody. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah, you. I know. Yeah. It's always like that night. He's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to do the workshop first. <laughs> Seriously. Joel, you are in from Atlanta, mm-hmm. and uh, you, you have kind of... Uh, like, um, is it clean comedy? Something is that is that like your? I mean, that's brand? mainly what I do, but it's it's yeah. funny comedy. First off, it's not yeah. like corny. I'm not going to be up there. Well, maybe right. I will dab. Maybe I will do a little dance. But right. it's all just fun, you know. And it just happens to be clean. But I came up in Atlanta doing strip clubs and hookah bars and sidewalks and so don't just buses. think i'm the clean comedy so guy it's like i'm yeah so i i developed in all sorts of places i just happen to be clean because i was like a youth pastor that's okay. really what it comes down to mm-hmm. all right there you go mm-hmm. and uh, i i saw on your your instagram your wife was digging some holes what what type of holes were those that you were watching? oh is this yeah. that type of show <laughs> <laughs> no you were in the yard with the dog watching something what was it oh we love to garden that's you know, what i we're, wanted to know big gardeners you know my wife loves antiques and gardening some people marry their mothers i married my grandmother okay and we love she i thought you were the, the clean comic yeah. <laughs> married your grandmothers <laughs> you said digging holes i was just following your Speaking lead of this. grandmothers daphne <laughs> you have a, a a little routine about your grandmother also that yes, i saw absolutely yes daphne springs introduce yourself to the k-man public Hey, what's up, Cayman? This is Daphne Springs, um, social media influencer, comedian. Uh, my second time in the Cayman Islands. Really? Yes. Wow. First okay. time I did a video over here went super viral. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. You know. I saw you have like seven hundred and forty something thousand followers on Instagram. Instagram. Uh, who are these people? Uh, shoot. <laughs> this is incredible. I, I'm from South Florida, big family. Most of them are my cousins. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to support family. Where, where, in, where in South Florida are you from? I'm from Palm Beach County, Florida. Okay. You know, in Florida, we say the counties. Yes. That's how we know when people aren't from there, when mm. they say the city. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I lived there for 12 years. I lived well, in county. Dade County. Dade County. Dade. There you go. On, on, the, on the Broward County borderline. Yeah. You know, my um, Miami Dade County is actually not in the state of Florida. Really? It's its own state. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It has to be. It's doing its own thing, too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. They're away from all of us. <laughs> it is. And so welcome. Welcome to the Cayman Islands again. That means that you're almost family. 
Yes, almost. Yeah, I can almost. blend in a little bit. Yeah, I you can. look like one of us. <laughs> we all like, the thing about it is, <laughs> Cayman is so diverse. Every one of you look like Caymanians mm. because we all look like so many different things. We're I all mixed. Them, it's no it's amazing. Such thing is what Caymanian looks it's like. It's the truth. It's mm. the truth. But when people say to me, "You have Caymanian hair," I'm like, "What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that?" You know. But definitely, um, we're very diverse. So we're very happy that you guys are here, and we mm. love, the, you know, the funny. So. Uh, thank you once again, Rod, for bringing them on board. I need it in my life to get rid of all the stress. You do. So every every quarter. Yeah. Yes. It takes about that much time. That I like going on the trip. mind trip when they hypnotize and the, the crowd goes silent and everybody's just listening. That's my favorite part. Yeah. And and, and the immigration jokes are the best. So you guys preparing <laughs> some of those? Because those are the best. Like it, it's a. We wanted I mean, to get in and out. He took, it Damon, he, he took Damon, an hour to get in. Damon had <laughs> yeah. an immigration joke, man. I'm telling you, he had me crying. It was so true, you know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me go ahead with uh, my final comedian that we've not introduced yet, Mr. Alfred Kanga. That's right. All right, talk to How us. How you doing? How you doing, Cayman Islands? My name is Alfred Kanga, originally from. Zimbabwe, Africa, right. but I'm based in Dallas, Texas, so I know all about immigration. I've been through all of it, right? legally <laughs> and illegal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. You think the Mexicans got us beat? Nah, no. try African. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm here. They gave me a two-day visa. Uh, really? Yes, they say you got to be out of here tomorrow. Really? No. Us. I'll be working at the Sunshine Grill in five days. <laughs> you you, you right, right now. You're taking I'm, a break. Well, yes. So how much did everybody else get? Everybody got some more time? They got time? all three months, yeah. 90 days. They told me, oh. we need you out here They by gave Saturday. me dual citizenship. Yeah. 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 You ain't got to leave, Daphne. They what do you mean? Yeah. They're holding my passport at the immigration office. Yes. Right you, you, you're going to leave, I'm right? And, uh, you know, like hunting in your country, that's one of your jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> You did the research. I did. I did. I, he sent me a, a WhatsApp because this is K-Man. So That's awesome. he, here's Rod sending me a WhatsApp like after 10, like, oh, I'm going to be. T-. I'm like, who told you I was going to be hosting this show? This is not even my show. And then I said, then I give him work. <laughs> right? I'm looking at my husband like, I know he said no. Hey, it's, it's still said online, so that's why I said it. So that meant you were up. <laughs> Listen, trust me. I, 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 I literally have to. All right, send me some stuff on these people. Since you texted me, I'm going to go ahead and give you some work. you got to get me in trouble with my family. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> trust me. You're trying to help me prepare. Here. And I'm married to a Jamaican, so he's just oh. like, who is texting you this time of night? Time of night. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do your husband sleep in white? Pants? Uh no, he oh, doesn't. What? Is that a joke? <laughs> yeah, Jamaicans are known to wear all white. Really? They love all no, white. No, I had to force him to to get a a, a white outfit because I wanted to go to an all white um like party. Oh, maybe that's a Florida mm. Jamaican thing. Uh, maybe. Yeah, because yeah, I had he was like all white. I'm like yeah. Because we know, are, always say if you ever want to you know make a Jamaican mad down in Florida, just step on their white shoes. Oh yeah. yeah, well he has white shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep them clean. Yeah. Outside scrubbing them like it's a it's a thing. I'm just like you clean shoes? I thought you just buy them and then throw them away. <laughs> right. So very interesting. So yeah, so the show is tonight. It's tonight. The doors open at nine. The comedians are going around nine thirty ish. Wanna say one thing about do not come to the door with money. This is a cashless event. Okay. So if you come to the door, you're gonna have to buy your tickets online on the app. Oh, wow. If you want to buy them in person, you can come down to Executive service, Services between 2, and I'll be in there till probably about 545, selling tickets in person. Okay. So we will not be taking cash at the door because I've had a few people call, and we're not going to do it. So, that, so that's something that you've just changed? Or well, it's, it's just venue. for safety reasons and stuff. We okay. don't want to walk around carrying money at the event and stuff. So. But can I be outside collecting their money for them? Like. I can do that. If you're going to take them in another show. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, in other words, if you've not gotten your ticket yet, you need to go online and purchase your ticket or go to Executive Services in Industrial Park and get it from your office. Yeah, if you want to pay with cash, you need to come to Executive Services. Or you can just buy them online up until 10 o'clock tonight. You okay. can buy a ticket online and walk in the door. Okay. As long as seats are available. All right. And you're giving away a couple of tickets. So do, do you have a qu- – maybe there's a question we can ask somebody, and they can mm. call in, and like how I did my research, you know, mm-hmm. call in, at, right? And Here's then they could win 
That's Here's okay. a question. The lucky winner needs to identify where all three comics are from. Okay. Because we right. all introduced Ooh. ourselves oh, and we yeah. all told you where we're from. Oh, so wow. hopefully one good listener was paying attention. All Call right. us and let us know and you got two tickets. Okay. So okay. if you can identify where all three of the comics are from and you can give us a call 949 949- uh, oh, okay. 8037 <laughs> or what's up 925-3261 again 949-8037 or 925-3261 yeah. <laughs> if you know specifically not just the United States if you know exactly or you can give us some information about each of the comics that we have in the studio right now you can win two tickets to tonight's performance at the Kimana Bay Cinema Kimana Bay Cinema all right, so we're waiting for the calls. Yeah? Okay, just put my tickets there, uh, Rod. I'll just get them later. Mm. No I problem. Know the mm-hmm. answer. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, so uh, what do you plan to do outside of uh, the show tonight? Any any, any type of, um, you know, maybe a Cayman Islands wish list thing that you've ever had? Uh, if I ever come to this beautiful place in paradise, I'm going to do this, Joel? Uh, I've already walked on the beach a lot. I am looking for some good food, though. So I don't yeah. know if you have any suggestions there for the local. I'm actually taking her for local food after this. Mm. You, where, where are you taking them? I always take them to Corners. Corners. Yeah. Corners. We heard about that yesterday. Them to corners. Yeah. Okay. No right, complaints. Right. You don't seem impressed. <laughs> you don't like Corners? Stop it. Oh. We're on the radio. <laughs> of course I love Corners. They're amazing. <laughs> yes, no, they're good. I just I just thought he was going to take you somewhere fancier. He's definitely take, he is no, taking you in the midst of the Cayman. We don't want fancy. That's what they want. We want local. Like they want, they want, they want, yes. <laughs> my food. Oh, no, no. No, no. We're very clean. No, we're, we're, we're very, very clean. I can tell you. I, I visited Thailand a few years ago. And, uh, you know, the street food and stuff. And, and I remember... Uh, just seeing all this beautiful stuff cooking, I'm like, I gotta get some of this. And uh, and I said, Yeah, but can I have some noodles? You want noodles? You want you, know, you want no, vegetables? No, no. And, With then their ha- hands, and I was just yeah. like, Oh my goodness! Like I thought we were gonna use something. So I realized then that came on. Came yep. is very, very clean with that because I didn't realize how scornful we were because I was like, I don't want that now. <laughs> and it was very, it was very interesting because um, yeah, I I wasn't uh, I I wasn't well either Mm -hmm. but i think it was the whole trip just back and forth and stuff and it was very interesting but yeah so don't worry wherever you go you're going to get good food for sure you don't have to worry about that but i just thought he'd take you somewhere fancier to you know sit down and dine this is not a sit down and dine type of situation for caribbean food yeah yeah so Mm. So, so definitely um, that you're on your own with that, Joel. Okay. All right. Well, so get a good <laughs> we'll, plate. We'll brace ourselves. <laughs> what about you, Alfred? Anything that you thought about? Uh, what, what did you? What research did you do in on the Cayman Islands when you knew you were coming? Yeah, we found out how expensive this place is. I uh-huh. mean, gas is almost six dollars. I yeah. said, you know, so the only thing I can do is walk. And it's not. Table. And it's not six dollars U.S. It, by yeah, the way. I know. So that <laughs> convert, about eight dollars yeah, U.S. Eight dollars. So, I said, yeah. We should see more bicycles around. Can you this imagine thing. how many people are still driving? Driving? Everybody is still yeah. driving. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's yeah. unbelievable. But it's a beautiful place. Beautiful. Very clean, very pristine. Very clean. Uh, yeah. And, and I was hoping to eat a lot of red snapper, but I opened that menu at a fancy one. <laughs> and it was $40. I just, it, you know, now nah, put red, that back. Yeah, red yeah. snapper is not cheap for sure anyway. Yeah. And we thought because it's right there by the ocean. Yeah. But, but no, y'all don't have it in the in Well, the we're not actually like... Fishing Somebody and needs and to. Cooking it right there. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs to. Well, that's why you got two days. <laughs> they figured you'd come up with something. Yeah. They're like, he looks like he's ready to fry a red snapper and sell that right now. <laughs> but I'm going to go pedal boating, though. I want to do that tomorrow. Do what? Pedal boating. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. No, I mean, I live here, so I don't even know what that is. You know when you live someplace? Yeah, you yeah. want to take advantage <laughs> of Tell me how it was. <laughs> exactly, because we're working, right? So we have a caller on the phone. We're going to hey. go through the phones. This is our Uh-oh. winner, apparently. Uh, good afternoon, caller. You're on talk today. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You want to know the three comedians, where they're from? Uh, yes. Okay. You have a gentleman from Zimbabwe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> caller. <laughs> you have another uh, gentleman from, uh, I think you said Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Come on. yeah. <laughs> one more. Okay. So where to get my two tickets? No, you no got it's, it's a third one. It's a, yeah, we have a beautiful lady, too. 
I said the lady from West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. There you go. You have won two tickets to tonight's uh, <laughs> performance. And just stay on the line, and Susan will get your information. And you can collect your tickets at Radio Command. But just stay on the line. She'll get your information. Thank you so much for listening. We can't wait to meet you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And thank, thank you so you. much yes, for calling I, in. I know so from Zimbabwe, so I'm, I'm eager to meet this gentleman from Zimbabwe. Bring them. I know they're working in a kitchen somewhere. Bring them. They're not. <laughs> 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 I, I know I know people from Zimbabwe, too. They're not working in the kitchen. Stop it. <laughs> Stereotyping. You know what? Uh, we have a very large Zimbabwe community, too, by the way. I know. They told me they're coming out. Yeah. So good stuff. Yeah, they, That's gonna good. Be it's it's going to be dope. I'm going to let my friend, uh, one of them, know uh, if she's not coming out to go ahead and go meet one of her yeah, brothers. But yeah. you also live in the U.S., though. Where at Texas? Yeah, I'm in Texas? Dallas, Texas. Okay, yeah, see, right. I need my tickets. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so Texas. <laughs> so how, how is that, like, just making um, the adjustment, though, uh, from, you know, from Africa to America? Yeah. You've been there since you were a teenager, right? Yeah, I was 19 when I moved to the States. Yeah. So, um, so part of my life was, was in Africa, and then my whole adult life in the states right yeah but there's so many differences between the two places and yet some similarities too so i just draw comedy between that yeah and what i experienced when i first moved there what i was expecting and what i actually experienced you know so it's just my life story that's what my comedy is about okay yeah all right that's nice and your entire family moved with you Mo- no by myself oh wow yeah, so yeah, everybody's myself. back home so you visit back home actually what happened was my mom decided to move to australia instead two okay. years after i moved to the states she got a better job offer oh wow yeah my mom is in the health sector so is the rest of my family so they decided so to you've move. been raising yourself since the age of what Nineteen. yeah yeah <laughs> so so I decided to stay. You know, they were like, come on over to Australia. I said, nah, I yeah. like riding horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you visited Australia? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How we is tried it? To rotate. It's, it's just like the Cayman Islands, very expensive, really? but beautiful too, you know. But, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice place. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. And so, Daphnik, what does it do? What do you have in, in store for us for Cayman tonight? For tonight, Since you Since know, you've been here before. Yeah, so, I'm a, yeah, this is my first time bringing my comedy here. Oh, so, okay. yeah, last time it was just pure vacation. Um, this time it's going to be jokes and, and work. We're going to have a great time. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. make the people laugh. I'm going to bring every bit of me yeah. and my personality and my experiences. And you, we, you start to realize that you relate to people all over the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be in Seattle, I saw. My mom lives in Seattle right now. Oh, yeah. You're going to be in Seattle. Yeah. Right, in Tacoma. Yeah, That's close, actually where she lives, in yeah, Tacoma. Yeah, but you land in Seattle. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to tell her. Tell her to come see you. I, I don't know. She might. She'll try yeah, to get out there. Tell people here to check out my comedy special. It's on YouTube, too. Hey. It's called Single Female Daphne Springs YouTube. Very funny. That's Very funny up. people. What about you, Joel? You have a couple of dates coming up as well. Yeah, well, I produce a clean comedy festival in Atlanta, um, so I guess that's not here. So I have this date tonight, but then you can go to my website, joelbyerscomedy.com to see my dates. And I also have a podcast where I interview a bunch of comedians on there called Hot Breath, and that's on YouTube and all the podcast apps as well. All right. and you comedians w- have bad teeth. <laughs> a little bad tooth. Teeth. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not that's what it is. Is that what it is? Thank you. No, it's not. What is it, really? <laughs> that's it's the name it. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's Hot Breath, but that's not the reason. Oh, no. I just thought it was a catchy name. Yeah, it's Yeah, cute. I just liked it. Yeah, okay. but comedians, a lot of them don't have dental insurance, so that does track <laughs> you can always tell as when well. You up to the mic and it smells funny after they get off the Oh, mm-hmm. goodness. Yeah. But not tonight. <laughs> just picturing it, yeah. right? <laughs> yes, and I mentioned your online uh, workshop that you're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. So if people are interested, they can also... On my website, they yeah. can get, get it there. Yeah, for sure. And uh, your website again? joelbyerscomedy.com okay or they can always follow you on instagram which as is well. joelbyerscomedy as well mm-hmm. okay yeah. and and your where they can find you alfred uh i'm on instagram um twitter facebook and it's alfred kanga on all platforms that's a-l-f-r-e-d-k-a-i-n-g-a i'm also on plenty of fish.com now they can find me there too okay oh, yes. date you a little yes. bit. swimming oh okay okay you might steal 20 dollars out of your purse that's okay it's worth the trouble yeah. <laughs> just kidding now alfred sounds like you'd like you're named after somebody 
Is that yeah? You named after your you know, father, that's a, grandfather. That, that's a funny story, right? So let me let me let me give you the background mm. because you know people always get surprised that you know you're from Africa and you got a name like Alfred. Well, right. ba- back in the day when um, Zimbabwe was a British colony, we were mm-hmm. called Rhodesia. They had a law that no child could be named a native name. Okay. It, it all had to be English names. Oh, right. So okay. that's why my grandparents' names are Augustine and Esther. My mom's name is Wendy, which is weird, right? But all our middle names can be African names. So when I was born in 1980, I was given the name Alfred. Okay. So I, th- I thought it was just named after a grandpa no, or something like no, that. No, no. It was just them following the law. That is funny. You wow. know, yeah. you know what I've, I've realized over the years, too, is that everybody has kind of the name story. Mm-hmm. And so thanks for sharing that. Daphne, do you have a name story? You know what? I didn't realize what my name had came about until me and my family, my mother and my father, we went to Columbia in November. Um, and my mother got pregnant at 16 and she said she only did two doctor visits and they never saw what I was. So when she gave birth to me, she didn't know what I was. Right. So that when I came out, it's like, Hey, I'm a girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Made it. Um, <laughs> thank God it ain't China, you know? Right. Um, but so when I came out, you know, my mother was still a little, you know, after giving birth, my father went and named me. And my mother's name is Daphne, and my father said, at the time, I loved your mother a lot, so I named you Daphne after her. Oh, yeah. At the time, he loved sweet. her a lot. Yeah, he don't love her no Yeah, something that's, changed along the way. <laughs> Divorce. That's interesting, though. But, yeah, yeah very, very interesting, though. So, Because uh, I thought it was like a combination of Daphne and Unique or, or something. Just Daphne and then Daphne. Okay, very interesting. So yeah, we're we're looking forward to uh to you know hearing you guys tonight. Joel, you got a name story? No. Uh this is Joel. Every other person. Yeah, yeah. From that it's lab. in the Bible. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I know, but I don't even know the origin there. Yeah, yeah. very white Christian camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Like your parents really named you after what you was gonna become. <laughs> right. Rod, you have a name story? Um uh, Mine isn't that funny, man. Yeah, no? Yeah, just my mother trying to impress my grandmother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, her mother or her mother-in-law? Mother-in-law that didn't really like her. She <laughs> was Cuban, so she tried to give me a Spanish name and everything. Okay, so I what is the name? Like Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yeah. Oh, Rodriguez. Yeah. And, and there's you're no, supposed to play baseball. And there's no Spanish. Oh, okay. okay. I did. I do. Oh, yeah. well, that's interesting, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, I, I, I taught this class, and... Uh, a uh, young lady, her name was, I think, whatever, if say it was uh, Tamala, but it was supposed to be Tamara, mm. and it was just spelt wrong on the mm. birth certificate. So mm. she didn't know where she got the name from. So she was like, I'm going to go ask my mom. I never thought about it. And so she came back the next day, and she was like, you know it was spelt wrong. That's how I ended up with this <laughs> name. <laughs> I never thought to ask, and I thought, wow, that's interesting. She said, yeah, she, they told me it, it was supposed to be this, and it turned out to be that. But it's going to be all of that and no more tonight. Just a host of funny. Uh, looking forward to these guys. I know you're always hosting these uh, comedians. Where do you get all of your comedians from, Rod, by the way? Well, Mr. Joel came by way of one of your friends, too, Sean. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Mr. Sean Larkins. Yes. He's a... He's a I called him and said I needed some comedians. Because yeah. Damon's been very busy. So he's a Caymanian, going too. Going back and forth they, with him. They, they have mm-hmm. their little Caymanian, mm-hmm. almost Caymanian papers. Yeah. They've been here enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a funny yeah. brother there. Yeah. Daphne, Damon. Damon. Okay. And Alfred reached out to me. Really? And, and Damon's like, jump on it. So where did but so where so Alfred, where'd you hear about them? Rocking? Actually he did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he, your manager. Yeah, he did all the work. He okay. was like, Hey man, we're going to the Cayman Islands. I said, What? <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't say no. Oh no. Oh no, you never turned down work. Oh, okay. And he, he's worked with so many people that I've worked with, you know, so there's a relationship there. So when you look at that you're like, Okay, I think this is a solid show because that gives you the impression that there's reputation there. Right. He's worked with those, it's those a solid the, show. Absolutely. It's so, a solid show. So it was an easy decision. Yeah. yeah, I know you've won a couple of things also, uh to, comedy yeah. comedy yeah. Uh, yeah. competitions yeah. and stuff so yeah you're in you're in good hands absolutely yes and so enjoy yeah. corner 
And uh, you know, if you if you can if you can catch up with peppers, they'll be all right too. Mm-hmm. You know, let them spend a couple of dollars on you. That's mm. all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. so That's all I'm saying. Is, is peppers local? <laughs> local? Yes, it is. See? Yes, okay. it is. Jerk, jerk. It's jerk chicken too, by the way. Jer- like right. they're famous for jerk. But their menu is amazing. Mm. And there's also a little dancing if you want it. You know, stuff like that. Depending, but you only have two days, so you might yeah. you might I'm not be able to stay. Thank you guys so much for joining me this this afternoon. I'm looking forward to you having a great time tonight. And congrats to our caller yes. who won those tickets. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Rod, for just doing Thank this for, for us. us. We're excited. Hope to yeah. see you tonight. Yeah, for sure. Right. Take care. All right. We'll be back with more talk today right after these messages. The Economics and Statistics Office is currently conducting the annual business surveys until June 14th. The surveys seek to collect information needed to answer these questions. How did the economy perform in 2023? In 2023, how much did foreign companies invest in the Cayman Islands? The surveys include all relevant entities that produce goods and services in the Cayman Islands. The surveys are confidential under the Statistics Act and are exempt from the Freedom of Information Act. Your response matters. Do your part. Fill out and return your survey forms to the ESO. Remember, better data, better decisions, better business. For assistance in filling out the forms or for more information, visit www.eso.ky or call 244-4676 or 244-4600. From boat days to beach gatherings, leave the catering to Subway. Choose from small and large sandwich platters, double meat wrap platters, and top it off with with optional optional cookie cookie platters platters for for dessert. dessert. Or ask about our Subway Box to Go with the option of 6-inch or foot-long sandwich, one One cookie, cookie and and one one bag bag of chips chips. for all occasions and celebrations. Let Subway focus on the food so you can focus on the fun. Visit Subway.ky for catering options. Subway. Eat fresh. You know who this is? The same old girl that went to Hollywood and Panama? Well, guess what? The fun ain't done yet. Because this year, I'm going to country concerts in Denver. I got kick up my heels in Times Square. And I got to find my way to Barbados. I got to keep living the dream with Cayman Airways. We so blessed to have them. I tell you what, though, this old girl's feeling younger than ever. Make your travel dreams come true with Cayman Airways, offering international non-stop flights from Cayman to New York, Miami, Tampa, Denver, Los Angeles, Panama, Kingston, Mobe, La Saiba, and Havana, plus Barbados. Enjoy free rum punch, free in-flight entertainment, free seat selection, and free meals on select flights. Call 949-2311, contact a travel agent, or visit Cayman Airways dot com. Capella Music Festival is back on Saturday, April 27th at the Festival Green at Kamana Bay, featuring a jam-packed lineup of local performers and international stars with reggae royalty, Damian Jr. Gunmarlin, soft rock heavyweight, Richard Marks, dance pop star, Becky Hill, Afrobeat star, Iris Star, Soka Sensation, Cast the Bad, and world champion DJ, DJ Puffy. Purchase your tickets now at CapellaMusicFestival.com. The offices of dermatologist Dr. Wayne Porter will be taking appointments April 29th to May 5th at his Crew Road Clinic. Appointment slots are limited. Whether you are seeking advanced skin care, Botox, filler, cosmetic skin enhancements, or simply looking to reduce wrinkles, Dr. Porter offers a full-service dermatology and dermatological surgery practice. For more information, email dr.porterkman at gmail.com or call 946-9020 to book your appointment today. That's 949-9020. At Doctors Hospital, we know life happens, and usually when you least expect it. So when unexpected medical issues arise, you need quality care close to home. Located in the heart of Georgetown, our accomplished team of physicians and medical staff treat minor urgent conditions such as migraines, chest and abdominal pain, shortness of breath, burns, broken bones, open wounds, and more. 24 hours, 7 days a week with no appointment necessary. Peace of mind is important when life happens. At Doctors Hospital, we're always here just for you. Need to speak to someone? Call 949 6066 
Water Authority Cayman wishes to advise its customers of a series of planned localized service interruptions in Cayman Brac to facilitate an ongoing leak detection project. The project will begin on Monday, 22nd April and will last for approximately eight weeks. This essential leak detection project is a proactive measure from the authority to identify potential leaks within the distribution network, engage in timely repair work, and improve overall service delivery. Work will commence at Georgiana Drive and progress towards the northeast, coming to completion at Watering Place Road. Customers in the BRAC can expect temporary service interruptions on weekdays only from either 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Customers will be notified of service interruptions in their area a minimum of 24 hours in advance via door notices. Customers will also receive a door notice upon service restoration. Water Authority Cayman advises customers to store enough water for personal use during service interruptions and limit use of water-intensive appliances. In the event of an unplanned service interruption, customers can visit the Authority's website www.waterauthority.ky for outage updates. Customers can also contact the customer service team in Cayman Brack by calling 948-1403 or emailing brackcs at waterauthority.ky. The Water Authority appreciates the patience and understanding of its customers and the public as it upgrades its water infrastructure and apologizes for any inconvenience caused. Hey there, Cayman. Great news. Our affordable housing survey deadline is now extended through April 19th. And we want to hear from everyone. Caymanians, residents, or here on a work permit, your voice really matters. This is your chance to impact the future of Cayman's housing. Plus, you can win a $100 gift card from sponsors like Foster's, Geno's, Mise en Place, Food for Thought, and more. Speak up and get involved by visiting cihousingplan.org by April 19th. Don't miss this chance, no matter your background or status. Your input will help create a vibrant community where everyone feels at home. Thank you for helping shape Cayman's future. Remember, every voice matters. Go to cihousingplan.org now and let's make a difference together. Radio Cayman's Talk Today. What is on your mind, Cayman? And good afternoon again. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the show. Uh, talk today, Catherine Tyson Sewell. I'm sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. And uh, I tell you, it's just been, it's been so good. Just one, you know, band of guests after another. And I love that because I don't have to find things to, to talk about. Because, you know, if you're sitting in this seat, you got to talk about stuff. Susan was like, you got it covered. You know, you always bring your stuff. And Susan is right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's funny. So thank you for the vote of confidence, Susan. But I didn't need to. Uh, <laughs> didn't need to do that this, this afternoon. Thank you all so much, though, for just being a part of it. I think um, somebody asked about the price of the, the tickets for the Laugh Came In. Tonight at the Kimana Bay, I believe you, you have to go online. So go to laughkiman.com and that will be able to uh, send you to Event Pro or wherever you have you, you need to buy the tickets from. But I, I think they're generally about twenty five dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Generally, uh, that's the tickets. He's, he's been really good about about that. So it's pretty and, and it's worth it because, you know, most inexpensive therapy session that you it really is. I mean, you just you. Mm -hmm. You just falling out the whole time. These these comedians are something. They were a little they were a little subdued just now, but you know they were behaving they're on their, their best. They, they're saving their gunpowder for, for tonight. On their yeah. best behavior, you know, and they're hungry, so they're going to corner. Someone said to send them to CN. They exactly yeah. CN got some good turtle stew and kunk stew. You That's know the sure. thing about visitors sometimes the trying turtle stew and kunk, that that can be a little bit much mm -hmm. when they yeah. first try it. I think yeah. kunk is a good break in. Kunk, yeah. kunk is start, all right, yeah, but over. turtle stew is is, is it's definitely when you're hardcore. It's, a, it's acquired sometimes. So <laughs> when hardcore came on you. <laughs> As you can you can hear that I already have guests in here, right? And they're just talking because they're used That's to being you. on the radio. And I know everybody already. <laughs> <right? There's laughs> everybody knows that. It, everybody knows that voice. I I should have. A, I should have a question 
people will call and say, well, who's that voice? And then you win a ticket. Don't do it. I'm just joking. Because <laughs> everybody knows Jamo, yeah. James Miles. And he's here in the capacity this time. Because I always have to say in the capacity because mm. we, Caymanians, we pop up at different things. Like, what are yeah, you doing if today? If you got five hearts wearing, you got four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have four, you just laser. So happy play through that, everybody. <laughs> exactly. He's the chairman of the Medical Anti-Doping Commission. Uh, of the Cayman Islands o- Olympic Committee, yes. and he's here with one of his anti-doping officers, Mr. Carl Brown, who is also popping up at, at doing something else because yeah, we, you know, rotary, the four or five doing hats, stuff. as yeah. you say. And so we're talking about Play True Day. Yes. What is Play True Day, and what's the theme for this year? So tell us first of all, what is Play True Day? Well, it started in 2014. Uh, every April, on the 19th of April, the whole anti-doping community around the globe come together and celebrate Play True Day. It is a, um, a wa- an awareness campaign on the importance of playing, uh, having clean sports, and to make sure that um, all of our athletes are playing true. All right, so that's what it means. And it, it, the route starts with the establishment of the Water Commission Worldwide, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency that works along with um, all jurisdictions around the world to promote um, the, ab- the total absence of, um, of drug in sport to, enhance, to ha- enhance play. We want, and the objective of, in simple terms, the objective of, of anti-doping and, and WADA is whenever we are going to celebrate the win of an athlete, it needs to need to be sterling. It needs to be unassailable, and it needs to be celebrated um, in such a fashion that you know that that gold was truly fetched. Yeah. Um, through um, playing according to the rules. Yeah. So that so that's one side of it. I can imagine uh, just you know feeling like yes, this was truly won, right? It, yes. it was true. But also being comfortable and confident that if your athlete won something, that there's nothing that's going to come back to haunt them at some point. And you know what I mean? Your Cause country, that, cause your that family could be something. will yeah. not be tainted. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, you know, when you when you look over over the world and over the years and people, you know, have lost medals, they've yes. they've been taken from them because it was found that it was not, you know, it was enhanced. That's kind of it, it's crushing for everyone. Mm-hmm. It's an embarrassment. Uh, it, 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 you know, for their their organizations, but also for the person that could have won, didn't get their their glory was time, of your was deprived of that. So, yeah. yeah. And so they would which, never get that moment. Which, by the again, way, right. um, occurred with us. The person who could was supposed to be standing there on the medal, on the podium. Was her very own Sedonia Madisil. Right. Did not receive her medal right. on behalf of her country and got it later on because the person above. I think was that was that Marion <coughs> at the time? Yes. I think so, yeah. Yes. And so, so our... Our our representative was, in other words, Deprived. fourth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because of that. But when when the first runner up, or, I mean, so the, 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 the winner won, then everyone else's place the moved. Yes. And then our Cayman Islands finally got could have gotten the point, got third place, right? Bronze, yeah. yes. and was deprived of that. You're yeah. right, and you can never ever relive that. You no. can't, you can't take it back. And so, it's, and there are it's also unfair. financial implications yeah. because sometimes it takes um, many years for it to be established that this occurred, and during that time, there is a loss of revenue that, and an accumulation of revenue, unfortunately, for persons who falsely secured that that privileged position and the person who did not lost out of a revenue stream that could have been right. theirs. Right. Yeah. And and, and, you had asked and about the theme. Yeah, and and, and I think uh, I think also with that um what what would happen too is like you said all of the accolades and all the opportunities that people had garnered because of it now it's kind of taken back and and so you know it's just it's just not good for any for anyone no. right so this is this the reason why this is put in place as well yes it is to make sure that if you have a bicycle race everybody in the race 
is on bicycles and nobody's on a motorcycle. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so so that's that's the analogy. Uh, right. that the the theme for this this analogy. year is um <laughs> one playthrough team and it, it is to encompass not only athletes but their coaches and their parents, um, all the athlete support personnel, because everybody has a part to play. And and I think we're starting to see the real successes of our athletes from the Cayman Islands because everybody's playing through. And it's because we have this global movement that everybody's operating on the same standards. The same thing is uh, um, acceptable or not acceptable globally. And, right. and I think um, we're now starting to see our athletes come um, uh, making finals, having some podium finishes. We had our um, recent success at, as a world champion in, in swimming. And we start to see our athletes, because they're competing in a level playing field, showing exactly how much um, their their worth is and that they're, they've trained hard. And now you're starting to see that they're, they're competing on they're a level playing field. And now being rewarded. And now we're being rewarded for their hard work. Okay. If someone wants to, uh, to uh, play this, tell them how they can play it. Oh, play true? Yeah, it's one one play true, true team. team. Yes, um, it is. It is uh, the awareness for today is about everybody being on the same page in terms of having a dope free sport um, community. Um, if you see something happening that's not right, if you see people using drugs, if you see people using um, banned substances, or if anybody is encouraging banned substances, get in touch with the authorities which is the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee. Um, you can check out their website, and you can get information from them on how to contact and how to report doping. Um, a lot of people know my number, but I prefer that you go through the CIOC okay. so that the reporting can be uniform. Um, but we have instances where um, young people are being pressured into doing the wrong thing or not being very responsible about what they put in their body and... Um, uh, we try our best to educate them. Um, right now, we have to try to schedule a lot of face-to-face -face education sessions with our athletes so they're aware of the strict liability that it, they're responsible for what goes into their body. Um, so if it's something that you can't have drinks from open glasses, then make sure that all of your drinks are bottled and, and protected, that you, you know exactly what you're putting in your body at all times. Okay. So uh, all vigilance right. when you're going to a sporting event and um, a, a, a fidelity to the, the principles that you have been um, infused with and a watchfulness regarding your personal space and what you ingest, including water. And, um, and being, generally speaking, being very careful and being very questioning. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, now the... So doping is, is it can be found in different ways, right? Yes. So can you talk to me a little bit about that? Like when we talk about doping, um, what is it? Like what does it, you know, what does it cover? Okay, well, before doping just used to be those who have find it in their system. Now there are 11 uh, um, anti-doping rules that if you violate any of these rules, you can be reported for doping. And a few of uh, all of these are for athletes, but a few are for also include athlete support personnel like coaches and stuff. So here's the 11 the presence of a prohibited substance or a prohibited method, because some people can use methods to dope. The, the use or attempt use of a prohibited substance, evading or refusing or failing to submit a sample, is um, a violation. Okay. Whereabouts failure because when you're at elite level, you have to file whereabouts of where you would be because you can be tested at, at anywhere, any time. Okay. So if you don't have that up to date, and and a doping control officer says he's coming to your training session because your whereabouts say you'll be at training between six and eight, and they come there six ten and you're not there, or they come seven o'clock and you're not there, then that they can say, well, they'll keep filing these whereabout failures. And and if you have too many of them, they'll think that you're evading testing. So it's a violation. And here's some that are for athletes and their support personnel. Possession, 
of a prohibited substance, you can get up to four years ban for that. Administration or attempted administration of a banned substance, four years to a lifetime ban. Um, another one that applies to athletes, support personnel, and other people, which could even include parents. Okay. Tampering or attempting tampering to um, interfere with uh, an investigation. Trafficking or attempted trafficking of a prohibited substance, four years to a lifetime ban. Complicity or attempted complicity, two years to a lifetime ban. And so there's a lot in there. There's a prohibited association. This is another one that if, say for some, for some instance, I was sanctioned and banned, Catherine hanging out with me would be a violation if Catherine is a elite athlete. Okay, wow. So oh. what, what they are attempting to do is to make sure that cheats are isolated and they feel the real brunt of cheating. you cheating, you're outside of the team. You're not on the tr- play-through team. So sports is for the play true team. If you're not playing true, then you're not in sports. That is how they're they're um, they're looking on it. Okay. Um, acting uh, um, acts by an athlete or another person to discourage or retaliate against reporting, because that is also an, an issue where pe- people are trying to stop me from reporting what I see. Or right. in, uh, so right, that right. is a, a a rule that that if that's violated. That can also lead to a ban. And it also can so lead to 11. a jurisdiction ban. Okay. Such as what is being experienced now in Russia. Yeah, um, because the, the state has been found complicit in um, enabling doping and facilitating it. And in some um, spaces has been actively involved in supply. So... Um, This has some severe repercussions to the very national and regional level. And a country that is excluded is a country that is shamed. And mm. um, that is significantly a black mark. Yeah. Oh, wow. okay. and, and there's there's established eight international established standards for compliance. So when everybody is compliant, then we know everybody is playing on the one playthrough team. And uh, these eight international standards. Um, it's a code of compliance by those who sign on to it, which is almost the whole world, if not the whole world, because everybody wants their athletes to play. Um, and if you're deemed non-compliant, then you don't get to play. You just stay home. Yeah. If um, There's a code of uh, a standard for education. So even our awareness here today, we got to make sure that everything that we're saying Is what is being said all over the world today. Yeah. Of right, 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 right. So um, there's a is a standard for that as well. Um, the prohibited list is this this list of banned substances and methods are throughout the whole world, and not just oh this this is banned here, but not in, not here. Every is banned everywhere. Right. And continuously updated. Everywhere. And it's updated every single year. Okay. And you, you're listening to James Miles. Everybody knows him as Jamo, uh, who is the chair chairman of the medical. Uh, Anti-Doping Commission of the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee. Yeah. And uh, the you're, you've been hearing the voice of Carl Brown. He's the anti-doping officer. And Carl, we know I'm, your voice I'm from one a of time. Th- um, three other. One of them, yeah. I'm um, three other anti-doping officers. And what do you all, what, 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 do the anti, what do the anti-doping officers do? What do they do? So we are first processed and qualified, made, brought to the, to the standard of, requirements of WADA um, through our regional anti-doping office, okay. office in Barbados, which enables us to be available to test athletes, to be part of education programs, yeah. to become part of international events and occasions, sporting events and occasions, and be made available to travel worldwide to participate and test athletes um, at at the best practice standard level. Okay, yeah. all right. And so uh, in terms of locally, your your work then involves all of our athletes? Uh, we tend to target those at the national level that represent the country. Right. Uh, we try to make sure that they're all educated and aware of what is to be expected if there's testing at their competitions that they, they'll be representing the country at. Um, not all 
sports tests, but we try to make sure that all our athletes are aware of it just in case they rise to the level where testing is, they are aware of what to expect. Um, we try to do mock <coughs> tests with them, if not also test them. Uh, so they, they won't be tested for the first time when they leave here. They will have some experience in testing. Um, we believe in education first and test later. I mean, that's synonymous with education. You can't really come and ask them about the past exam without giving them the lesson. So we try to, we try to do that um, the best we can. And we try to make sure that all Caymanian athletes play through. So and how, how, go ahead. We also <laughs> infuse um, the ethos of being made um, to feel honored that you're going to be tested because as you float as a champagne bubble in the sporting world, you are going to be tested as, as a part of the rite of passage as a regional and international oh, athlete. athlete. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, how can people get involved um, or get educated on the anti-doping? Okay. If, you, um, if you are a parent or a coach or a teacher of an elite, an elite athlete or a talented athlete, uh, I employ you to get in touch with the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee. You can check out their website. And you have some ways of getting in touch with the Medical and Antidoping Commission. We can come to schools and do education sessions. We hope to do um, education with the educators, the, the PE teachers, because a lot of the um, CXE PE now has an antidoping segment in it. So we want to make sure that the education is up to international standards for education because that's, it would make sense if they're doing it and it's not at the, at the code level. So we were trying to make sure that we can try to do that with a um, professional development day. I'm hoping that that happens this year and in future years as, as well if there's new PE teachers coming on board. And then um, parents, if you want to know about what to do and, what, and how to behave with your athlete that is talented or, or, or representing the country, be careful with how you eat out. Um, be careful with, with um, open drinks and mixed drinks that you don't know what's in them um, because... Uh, just giving it to your child, even if it's something that you used to be doing, uh, be mindful of it, um, because as your child excels in sports, they will be tested, and then they can't say, well, oh, well, I got this punch or whatever from my aunt that I always have. And right. You, you don't know why in it. Right. So you got to be careful with that kind of education. So we try to educate parents so they, they can be mindful of that, even with um, cold remedies and stuff, to be mindful of, yes. of those stuff and right. supplements. Um, because all of these things might have prohibited substances in them or their derivatives that would show up on a test. Right. So you do have athletes who are on a medical care, yes. but they're athletes, and um, we do not want them to lose out on being um, an active athlete. So they will have to um, liaise with their physicians and provide what is called a TUE, uh, uh, yeah, therapeutic, therapeutic use exemption. Use exemption. Okay. And that's done at international standards as well. Okay. And that means they can comply with WADA list um, while they are taking their medicines and they are also parallelly being very active as athletes. Right. So they can go to the Olympics, uh, the, uh, the Cayman Olympics website, as well as WADA. I, I see you have, um, have a website here as well that they right. can go to www.wada-ama.org yes. and uh, look up the N Play True Day Assets. Yes. Right. Yes? yes. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. James Miles out there working, man, working. <laughs> one of your hats, you can take that off now and go to the next one. Yep. Uh, you know, the chairperson, chairman of the Medical Anti-Doping Commission of the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee, as well as Carl Brown, one of the anti-doping officers. Thank you all so much for that. We thank you. You're doing fun work. Audience. It sounds like fun yeah. work. And thank you for, uh, for, <laughs> for facilitating us. Thank you. Thank you as well. We shall take a break. We're going to bring uh, the, the news, I guess, to you and then a couple of other little commercials. But we'll be back with more talk today. Stay tuned. From Radio Cayman's newsroom, this is Headlines. The Economics and Statistics Office is rolling out their Spring Labor Force and Quality of Life survey starting April 28th. The LFS will collect data on employed and unemployed persons in Cayman, while the Quality of Life survey will gather information on life satisfaction, financial security, and social inclusion. 
Armed police have made an arrest after reports that a man was seen entering the Iranian consulate not far from the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Elite officers from France's BRI Intervention Brigade surrounded the building after a witness saw a man apparently carrying a grenade or explosive vest. French reports said the suspect eventually left the building shortly after he was detained by police. And after months of delay, the U.S. House of Representatives appears poised to hold a vote on tens of billions of dollars in American military aid for Ukraine and Israel this weekend. Both measures have vocal opponents in Congress, however, and their hopes of passage hinged on a fragile bipartisan coalition to overcome daunting procedural and legislative obstacles in the way. The Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, has said he's determined to bring the matter to a vote, even if it may put his hold on power in jeopardy. Those are your headlines. I'm Carson Lee Fuller www.radiokman.gov.ky. Check out our social media pages, Facebook, YouTube, X, formerly Twitter, Radio Cayman Headline, Headline News. You know who this is? The same old girl that went to Hollywood and Panama? Well, guess what? The fun ain't done yet. Because this year, I'm going to country concerts in Denver. I got kick up my heels in Times Square. And I got to find my way to Barbados. I got to keep living the dream with Cayman Airways. We so blessed to have them. I tell you what, though, this old girl feeling younger than ever. Make your travel dreams come true with Cayman Airways, offering international non-stop flights from Cayman to New York, Miami, Tampa, Denver, Los Angeles, Panama, Kingston, Mobe, La Saiba, and Havana, plus Barbados. Enjoy free rum punch, free in-flight entertainment, free seat selection, and free meals on select flights. Call 949-2311, contact a travel agent, or visit Cayman Airways. Com. From boat days to beach gatherings, leave the catering to Subway. Choose from small and large sandwich platters, double meat wrap platters, and top it off with, with optional, optional cookie, cookie platters, platters for, for dessert. dessert. Or ask about our Subway box to go with the option of six inch or foot long sandwich, one, one cookie, cookie, and, and one, one bag, bag of, of chips. chips. For all occasions and celebrations, let Subway focus on the food so you can focus on the fun. Visit Subway.ky for catering options. Subway, eat fresh. At Doctors Hospital, we know life happens, and usually when you least expect it. So when unexpected medical issues arise, you need quality care close to home. Located in the heart of Georgetown, our accomplished team of physicians and medical staff treat minor urgent conditions such as migraines, chest and abdominal pain, shortness of breath, burns, broken bones, open wounds, and more. 24 hours, seven days a week with no appointment necessary. Peace of mind is important when life happens. At Doctors Hospital, we're always here just for you. Need to speak to someone? Call 949-6066. Discover your dream home with Cayman National's Home Loan. Get up to 95% financing, repayment up to 40 years, and just a 0.5% commitment fee. Your interest rate? Depending on your risk factors, it'll be fixed or variable. Plus, you get a pre-approved credit card. This is a limited time offer. Dial 949-8300 or email lending at caymanational.com today. The Passporting Corporate Services Office is advising travelers to check their passports to ensure all is in order ahead of summer holiday travels. Travelers should check their passport validity, verify entry requirements for the destination, and apply for or renew passports and visas early. For more information, call 345-649-7678 or email passportandcorporate at gov.ky. K-Man, get ready for an adrenaline fuel event like no other. Round 2 of the 2024 Siwa National Tour, Sunday, May 5th at South Sound Dock. Watch as K-Man's top riders push their jet skis to the limits. JJ McLean, Klein Glidden, Brandon Elliott, and so many others. Family-friendly atmosphere, free admission, food trucks, and non-stop entertainment. Feel the vibe and ride the wave with the Cayman Islands Watercraft Association. Round 2 of the 2024 Siwa National Tour, Sunday 
Sunday, May 5th, South Sound Docked, starting at 11 a.m. Proudly sponsored by Car City, Cayman Islands Coast Guard, Cayman Islands Fire Service, Pepsi, Fast Signs, JM Equipment, Ministry of Youth, Sports and Heritage, Party Animals, Seabreeze Charters and Jet Ski Rentals, Verdant Isle Farms, Health City Cayman Islands, National Logistics, Onshore IT, Ministry of Tourism and Ports, Radio Cayman, and Breeze FM. Radio Cayman's Talk Today. What is on your mind, Cayman? Welcome back to Talk Today. Catherine Tyson Sewell, I'm sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. I call this the home stretch. Almost there. You know, when you first get here in the chair, you just think, oh, my goodness, what am I going to talk about? And all these interesting people. And I'm so, you know, glad to facilitate these conversations. And then you blink and it's almost over. It goes so fast. It goes so fast. And today I didn't even get to interact with Susan as much. She normally tells me, you know, she's directing stuff over there. This time she didn't have to do a lot. I was so busy. I had so many guests and just exciting stuff talking about intellectual property. We even had the deputy premier in here, which was awesome. As well as, you know, our, our two uh, local entrepreneurs, my goodness, Melissa Adderley and Ted Green from Ted Green Fragrances, Melissa Melissa Adderley from Women's Haven with their amazing stories. And then we had Laugh Came On, Laughter Lounge, uh, who came in. They're going to be doing a show tonight. By the way, the tickets are 65, start at $65 and up. I, I, I stand corrected. And so, uh, but you, you don't want to miss it. It's, it's amazing. It's a great show. And three comedians, Alfred Kinga. Daphne Springs, Joel Byers, and they were hilarious in here. So, and I, I checked them out last night online. So you want to go ahead and um, and see if you can get to that show. But the, no tickets are being sold at the door. So make sure that you go on laughcaman.com and you can, you know, either purchase, find a way to purchase tickets from there, or go to Executive Services and get them from Rod Jefferson, Jefferson yourself. Uh, and then we were talking to. James Miles and Carl Brown from the the anti doping the medical anti doping commission of the Cayman Islands Olympic Committee. So yeah, it's just been a fun afternoon, and I am now joined um, by Alyssa Manderson, who is uh, the senior program and events coordinator for Enterprise Cayman. A welcome and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, excited to talk about uh, this uh, business design competition that you actually have last year's winner here with you, Mr. George Walkup, who won this competition. Yes, I, I won it in 2022, so mm -hmm. technically the year before last yes. year. Okay. Close enough. So. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. So 2022. Did you have a 2023 winner? Yes, we did. So the winners of 2023 was a group called Substitute Teachers of Cayman, okay. and they were focusing on relieve, um, reducing the amount of stress and daily kind of headaches that our, te our teachers face with like having that. to cover for other teachers and different things like I that. I like that. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Because normally I they call them supply teachers. Yes. So, uh, so they're actually uh, right. So they were trying. Their goal is to create a platform um, where you'll be able to pull a substitute call teacher them kind directly. of right, right away instead of having to you know make numerous amount of calls. It's just kind of one database, one central location where you can an association. Yes. Okay. You got to give me their number. <laughs> uh, you know the reason uh, I I I was a substitute teacher in Miami for uh, three and a half years. Oh, wow. So. A many 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 yeah, years you know ago, the back side of it that. was it was <laughs> man it, it was it was interesting because I was I was in college, uh, university, and I'd get that call seven o'clock in the morning or six thirty. Can yeah. you sub today? Right, right. <laughs> and I, every time I heard the phone ring, I'm like, okay, uh -oh. and I'd hear this guy saying, "Can you sub today?" And I'm like, oh no, you know. And sometimes I'd be able to do it, and yeah. it was awesome. It was it was really so. I I love that. Yeah, I love that that they actually won last year, yeah. uh, and Mr. George. Uh, you won uh, 2022. So let's talk a little before we talk to you then. Good afternoon and welcome, George. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, before we talk about, you know, the, the competition itself, let's talk about um, 
uh, or before we talk about your win, let's talk about the competition itself. So uh, lead us through it, Miss Alyssa. Alrighty. So we are here to promote um, the 2024 Business Design Competition, which is taking place tomorrow. Pitches start at 10 a.m. Doors open at 9:30, and the event is being held at the Vault Compass Center. So we have about an we have six teams who will be pitching um, to five judges, kind of Shark Tank style. Okay. Um, and then. So they've already registered. Yeah, right. So, so they've gone through the program. So okay. essentially the program started in March. They went through two intense days of workshops um, that is curated around the ID stage of their business idea. So the program essentially um, focuses on the ID stage. So it is just um, validating your idea, making sure that it is something that you can um, bring to reality. Um, so they've gone through intensive training and workshops, and now they are at their final stage and ready to present. Okay. Yes. And so uh, p- you're inviting the public to come out? Right. So this year, so in previous years, it has always been a kind of invitation-only right, event. Right, closed one. So yeah. now this year, we have opened it up to the event. Um, RSVPs are looking great. So we are here just to encourage an- anyone who is interested in maybe... Um, applying for the competition next year or anyone who just wants to get an idea of what it is we're doing at Enterprise Cayman. Okay, so tomorrow it's going to be at the vault. What time? So 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay, so it's two hours. Yes. And there'll be places for people to sit. Yeah, and... so we'll have a proper theater type suppose you got setup. a couple of hundred people coming yes. in. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have space. We'll have space. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, so this, this is the competition's fourth year. Yes. So you've had, so you had two other other winners uh so who who were those other winners so the we, first winner what was so the, the first? first winner i believe it was before my time but i do right. believe it was biz hub okay. um, they created a local app for all of the different car wash businesses okay in yes okay and yeah. the other one uh, um then the other was george okay and then uh, we had a substitute teachers last year and then we'll have a new winner the fourth one okay yes. and uh so why should inv- individuals get involved and then i'm going to bring george in because obviously you can talk about your experience why do you think they should get involved Alyssa from uh, uh, like a management standpoint right so I think it's important because it um, honestly gives individuals within our community access to a wonderful um, networking um, a network of advisors and mentors and you know the program overall gives you an opportunity to test and validate some of those ideas that you might just be sitting on and you don't really know what it's going to take to bring this to life the competition is free so i mean you you really don't lose anything yeah, lose by anything, yeah. by joining the grand prize is ten thousand dollars unrestricted so you're free to do with that money as you please we do hope that you know you use it towards your business and I'm bringing going to it Vegas. <laughs> right <laughs> but it is um a huge grand prize and i think that it's a um a great opportunity to you know build your network okay. test your ideas sounds see good yeah sounds good we got do we have to take a commercial Susan, we got a commercial? No, we can keep talking. All right. So, George, tell us. Well, you entered it. Why? Let's well, go. Why? I think sort of building on what Alyssa just said, I think when you have an early stage business idea and maybe you don't even have a product or service working yet, I think the more people that you can expose that idea to, the more feedback you can get, the better you're going to be. So I think this business design competition is really just a great way to as she said, validate your idea in general, make sure that you're actually doing something that people think is uh, worth it. Okay. And yeah, so there's only upside in my opinion. So Mm -hmm. I think anyone who's interested in business and has an idea, I I don't see the downside. And so you won with Email Chaser. What is Email Chaser? So originally Email Chaser was a email finding tool. So imagine you're a salesperson, for example, and you're selling whatever you're selling, maybe some kind of B2B product and you need to find the email address of, I don't know, the CEO of some company that you want to send them a personalized cold email to, you could have used Email Chaser to find that email. And you can still use Email Chaser to find email addresses, but since I won the competition in 2022, we've built Email Chaser into entire outbound sales platform, so it's no longer just finding emails. It's now basically a full-fledged sales CRM with an emphasis on cold email, so sending cold emails that land in the primary inbox and not spam so an example would be for example you know maybe you are 
a sales team in a software company, maybe you sell software to hospitals, you could use Email Chaser to find a list of all the people who run hospitals in the US. You could then also use Email Chaser to find their email addresses. And then you could also use Email Chaser to actually send the emails to those people. And then you could also use Email Chaser to manage all of the responses so you get. So your business is just to find emails for people? Yeah, find emails and then send the emails. Oh, and okay. And then manage it. And just everything that's involved with the, a B2B sales process, you can do an email chaser. Okay. And yeah. and so people pay you for this for this uh, service? Yeah, so it's a monthly recurring fee. So it's 97 US dollars per month per user. A single company might have more than one salesperson, though. So maybe a company, is, they might have anywhere from one to 20 users. It just depends on the size of the company. So, so you basically, well, so you're saying ninety-seven dollars a month U.S. Yeah, correct. Uh, f- to use your service, and who, who who would generally use your service? Like when you thought of it, because I'm sure it's grown since then, right? Yeah. When you thought of it, who did you think would would use the service? Well, I you know we I would say that we're trying to really focus on small to medium sized businesses. So, the actual types of businesses vary so widely. It's actually hard to answer that. It's almost almost any business that sells B2B. So B2B stands for business to business. So when I say sending cold emails, it's specifically in the context of sending B2B cold emails. We don't allow our users to send emails to personal email addresses. Right, um, right. But so, you know, it could be anyone from a, you know, maybe a company in the US that manufactures beer kegs. You know, they might want to send emails to a list of companies that might be their potential Purchasers, purchasers yeah. or it could be a software company that's trying to sell their software. I mean, the the it, the, the range is so wide; it's yeah. really hard to answer that question. So how how did uh, how did this business design competition help your business? Well, initially, it was good to get feedback from everyone involved. So they had different people who are giving talks during the competition. So before the competition, there's actually a couple workshop days, and during those days, it was quite useful to speak to the different people there and get feedback and then after the competition occurred and i won as Alyssa mentioned i i won ten thousand dollars cash which that's you know that's that's quite useful in an early stage business you can use that to help develop your product further and so use most of those funds on further developing the email finder tool and yeah i I just think overall it's good just a good experience in general that's great yeah that's great. Uh, so, uh, Alyssa, tell us mm-hmm. about the workshops and, and, the, and the programming. So, again, like we mentioned, the program focuses on the ID8 stage of the business. So the workshops essentially align in that sense. So we focus on the problem that you're trying to solve. And then we are also helping you figure out how to validate that, that problem. So a lot of the workshops are about the product and the problem, validation, uh, market resource, storytelling. So how to essentially pitch, you know, your business idea to investors. Um, and yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, how can individuals apply? So uh, um, they can apply by visiting our website, enterprisecayman.ky and taking a look at the business design competition um, tab. And they can also follow us on social media to stay up to date for when applications open up okay. for 2025 again. That will okay. be early December. Okay. Okay. So uh, it opens up around early December and you have a few months then to kind of get your get right. your pr- proposal. Right. So we have an application that, um, that has a few questions, nothing too in-depth, but you have to be able to essentially explain your idea to us you know um we get upwards of 30 applications and then we have a panel of judges who go through those applications and select the top 10 10. and then we go from there so your top 10 is who's going to be pitching tomorrow so um yeah so the top 10 goes through the program this year we had some individuals fall out so we were left with six but we have our top six who will be okay. presenting it, it, tomorrow. So it's a pretty rigorous program? Yes, it is. And um, the time commitment and things like that kind of, um, you know, not everybody's built for that. Okay. Talk to us a little bit about the prizes. Right. So as I mentioned, the project of the year um, gets a $10,000 cash prize sponsored by Cayman Enterprise City. 
Uh, the winner of the Innovation Award gets a $2,000 cash prize sponsored by JB Advisory Services. So let me ask you before mm-hmm. you go on, what is the Innovation Award uh, compared to the, the Project of the Year? You think the Project of the Year is pretty innovative. Right. So what's the difference? Um. Well, I guess that's more for the judges kind of yeah. to deliberate amongst themselves. But essentially, the Innovative Award is supposed to be Um, Very creative, very out of the box, something that you don't normally see coming. So Um, you didn't win, but it was awesome. I mean, I I don't (laughs) think that that. anybody has won both prizes, but I'm sure that, you know, they can be under, tick, you know, multiple boxes. Okay. Yes. And the other award? So then we have the Community Impact Award. Um, That The winner of that receives a $2,000 cash prize sponsored by eShore. And then... We also have this year, new to the lineup, is the Best Storyteller Award. And that winner of that receives a $1,000 cash prize sponsored by KmanStory.com. Okay. We also have one more. Um, we have our People's Choice Award, which will be announced at the pitch day tomorrow morning. Um, that is sponsored by Cayman National. And the winner of that also receives a $2,000 cash prize. Okay. Um, the... And that's if, if 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 you personally have people right. So okay. the audience, the audience that's members nice. will be able to come out and vote on that. So okay. It, so that okay. is why we're trying to get as much of the community out there and get them involved as well. Yep. And it seems like all finalists will receive a prize pack. Right. So our prize pack this year is valued at over seven thousand dollars, which includes legal sessions, marketing support, a podcast feature on Cayman Story, reduced rate of incorporation access to networking events and special discounts, scholarships on courses, a complimentary Launch Lab Studios membership, and access to all of CUC's Angel Investor Network. All right. So who are who who are some of your, or, or do you have the, the, is it six? Do you have the six uh, that will be uh, presenting tomorrow? Yes. Do you have who they yes. are? Yes. So I can, I can give you a little preview of who they are and what they are um, focusing on. So uh, first we have Bureau Bot. They are a, co- a corporate secretary platform. They're creating a corporate secretary platform. We have EcoBlocks, building a greener future by transforming plastic waste into construction materials. We have e-waste recycling, a sustainable electronic waste recycling project. Hunted Offshore, um, a marketplace for offshore professional and legal services recruitment. We have Music Mate, an app for music learners and educators serving our music community. And we have Pix, converting user graphics into digital paint by numbers app. Okay. So, and and in looking at that, I, I did notice um, that, that most of the names were not local. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, me being local, I, I want to, uh, I, I guess I, 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 I would hope that we want to encourage Absolutely. our local people. So when I came on board, this was something that I was really important to me. You know, the business design competition, I don't think is properly um, utilized by our um, young Caymanians. So right. my goal is to get it out there to let them know that this is for you. Um, that this is an opportunity that can be extremely rewarding. Some, th- a lot of young Caymanians have a lot of business ideas, you know, and they don't know um, the right steps, you know, to validate those ideas. And this is a perfect opportunity for them to take advantage of. Yeah, it is an opportunity uh, for yeah, just an entrepreneur because I know a lot of young people that say, "I want to start. I want to have my own business." Right. And I say, "Oh, what is what is it? What do yeah. you want? You know, uh, what are you doing to to you know get it started?" Mm-hmm. And and so you know, asking the question. So um, I think information is also important as well because I. I didn't know about this right, also, exactly. which is, yes, yes, exactly. What do you hope participants walk away with or gain from this experience? Confidence, um, essentially, and validation in that the idea that they have is something that they can move forward on, you know, that I want them to feel confident. I mean, it takes a lot to get up on stage and pitch this um, tomorrow. I know a lot of the finalists are very nervous um, about tomorrow, but essentially just equipping them with that confidence and validation that they can move forward with the business right. ideas that they do have. And I think coming out to see it might be a good thing as well Absolutely. because you can see people, what they're doing, yeah. and give you an idea of how you put yours together. Yep. Uh, how was it in pitching, uh, George? 
well, two years ago, it was it the, I think it was the Harcourt Theater mm -hmm. at the time, and it was on a stage, so maybe there's about 100 people, 50 to 100 people in the crowd, so if you're someone who's never done much public speaking, then it can be a little intimidating. Baptism by yeah, fire. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and I mean... 100 people in the crowd doesn't sound like a lot, but for it's someone, a lot. Who, for, yeah, someone who doesn't do public speaking, it, <laughs> it can is be a lot. Yes. But I would say that for anyone who's in the final tomorrow, uh, no one in the audience really cares that much in terms of uh, whatever you think you're doing wrong. So just go out there and talk and everyone will be listening. Let people know what you can, yeah, what, exactly. you're, what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And also another thing I would mention is that th this is in the end of the day, just a competition. And the reality of starting a business is that yeah, you know, business only matters if it's profitable, making revenue every year. Right. So whether you win the competition or not, or whether people in the competition think your idea is good or bad, it, these kinds of things don't really matter so much in the sense that they're just opinions. The only way to validate it is to go out there and actually try to generate some revenue. Yeah, so. I, I absolutely agree uh, that, you know, it could even the 10 that that um, the I guess the 10 finalists, uh, they all can be successful. Mm -hmm. Right. And so this is almost just like a like a, a little exercise, right? Like the beginning exercise. So what words of advice would you give them? Uh, someone that's considering participating in this competition? What, what advice would you give them, George? And then I'll ask you the same thing, Alyssa. Well, I think one advantage I had when I entered the competition two years ago is I already had a working prototype. So email chaser, even two years ago, had a basic email finding tool that was already live on a website. So people, the judges, for example, or whoever in the competition, they could all see the website and I could also show it during the presentation. So if you have some kind of working prototype, you're going to have an advantage over a lot of the other people because a lot of people enter the competition without a working product. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so so uh, just almost like instead of just telling them about it, you can show yeah. them. And to be clear, um, you obviously don't need to have a prototype to enter the competition you can you can enter with just an idea right and that's fine in a lot of situations even if you only have an idea you know maybe you can somehow create a detailed slideshow or do some interviews like there's things that you can do to show that there's some kind of traction right yeah so what just a little shout out for your business how sure. would people be able to to contact you or sure. or you know get email well, chaser Sure. If, if you're interested in learning more about Email Chaser, you can go to our website, which is emailchaser.com. And yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a sales tool. So it might not be applicable to every single person, but if you're, if you own a business or you're a salesperson, you're trying to generate more leads for your business, then check us out. Pretty simple. There you go. What about yeah. you? Advice, Alyssa. So my advice is more in line with getting individuals to apply. So I want um, members of the community to not count themselves out, you know, give yourself um, the opportunity to try something new. Um, I know we have a lot of young entrepreneurs and I attend the career fairs throughout the year, so I know there are a lot of budding um, entrepreneurs coming right. up. Right. Um, so just feel like this is something for you, essentially. Take something for you to take advantage of. $10,000 is a great motivation to apply as well. Uh, so yeah. Well, I mean, also it's 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 not just ten thousand. There's ten thousand, or there's two thousand. Right. There's a couple of two there's thousand multiple, yes. award um, prizes, mm -hmm. awards, and then there's also a thousand storytelling, and then you also get your prize pack, which Absolutely. is valued at seven thousand. That's network, what I'm reading. The network as well, in terms of all the people you meet, the potential investors, right. everything you learn from the competition, it's that value is right. far more than ten thousand dollars. Because you Absolutely. might you might walk away with someone offering you something, maybe you didn't right. even win. Right. Right. But someone in the audience was like, well, that's, that's pretty cool. I like yeah. this. I'd we, like to partner with you. We do take or... the time to, to pair every um, team up with a project advisor. And those individuals are with either within the industry that they are trying to enter. And, you know, those kind of connections last for a long time, you know, so... Yeah. This is awesome. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. Of course. I Thank love you for this. Us. I love this. This is uh it's really cool. The business design competition. Yes. Alyssa, you'll be there tomorrow. I will be there tomorrow. So people can come out and meet you yes, as well can. as George. Not sure if you're gonna be there. Be George there. Walk up. Yeah. He'll be there too. <laughs> yes. And if you're interested in email chaser, email chaser.com. Pretty simple. And uh, it is the business design competition by Enterprise, Cayman Enterprise City. It's going to be at the vault tomorrow, 10 to 2. 
and six people will be presenting their ideas. It just sounds exciting. I think I want to come. It'll be a great morning. You should join us. Yes, and the prizes are great and just the opportunity, really, just the experience. Thank you all so much for joining me. You know, every time I sit with with young people uh, and you guys are out there just doing all these amazing things, I'm so proud. I re- I'm like a proud mom. <laughs> I really am. And I'm just, I just feel so good about my world. I'm like, yes. it's, it's going to be in good hands. It okay? Will, will, so I want to tell you guys that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel much. really happy about that. And I'm very excited. And it just looks like a great thing. So, mm-hmm. You know, tomorrow, 10 to 12, the Vault Compass Center and see those, you know, those uh, entrepreneurs that are have put together some great ideas. And, uh, you know, maybe you might have an idea. And if you do, they can reach you all where. So uh, we you can either reach us uh, through the website, enterprisecayman.ky, or you can reach out to me directly at AJM at enterprisecayman.ky. Okay. So that's pretty simple. Yes. All right. Thank you all so much. Thank you, too. And thank you for, you know, riding along with us and uh, listening in and and being involved in the conversation. Talk today. Come to you every day uh, the same time. And, you know, it's been awesome sitting in for Sterling this afternoon. He'll be back on Monday. Talk today. We'll be back on Monday. You guys have a great weekend. Be safe and uh, love your family and take care of yourself. Talk Today is brought to you by Subway. Open 24 hours in Countryside, Anderson Square in Georgetown, and Centennial Towers in West Bay. And by the Ministry of District Administration. Explore your history. Explore your land. Explore your sister islands. And Cayman Airways. Call them on 949-2311 to book your nonstop flights to Los Angeles and Panama. And now, Barbados. And Digicel. Cayman's bigger, better network. And Doctor's Hospital. Peace of mind is important when life happens. Doctor's Hospital. Always there for you. Call 949-6066.